Right, so you now return uh, to the clearing, uh, and the young boy is standing so, uh, looking. So what's our kind sheepish. of action? Because I think we're all kind of sort of divided on what to do next, right? I mean, maybe not massacre anyone in the village. I'm very much leaning towards a no-murder route as well. <laughs> UA is a no-murder no We should just go and talk to them. Uh, talk to his father, probably. Okay, what are we going to say? That he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you're a dick. <laughs> yeah, you guys are great at diplomacy, aren't you? I'm sure that'll go well. <laughs> Listen, I haven't got a brain cell to rub between me and you, so at least these lot have oh, something. I can't wait to see how that goes, honestly. <laughs> so, are we all agreeing to uh, take the kid back to the village, basically? Is that, is that the one thing we all agree on? Well, yes. do we not want the gold? We we hand him back, get the gold, then kill the dad. Simple. Okay. Maybe without killing the dad, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean personally, it. personally, I am in favour of killing my father still. Just... Um, means anything. Yeah, the kids with me. Okay, whack. But we've got an hour—not an hour—a day-long journey ahead of us. So why don't we discuss this on yeah, the way back? Because we we've could. got time. Where's our shoe to, bill? to ponder? I mean, she another can... option would be just to take the kid with us and have him join us. Uh, he could probably join Silas Pirate Group. Well, if we're comfortable with handing over an Earthbender to a uh, a fleet of pirates for their group, why are we handing him over to the pirates? I mean, they'd probably take better care of him than his dad in that village world, if we're being honest. I mean, uh, yeah, that, that's fair. Um, I, I don't really want to join any pirates. That sounds like yeah, the opposite of what I'd want to, to do. I don't want to hand you over to a group of pirates that we're probably going to betray later anyway. Hopefully Nigel didn't hear that. I mean, he's cool with it. <laughs> Where is Nigel? Is he still in the tree? Oh, Nigel's in, Nigel he's is currently cool. in the tree with Varric, so he can't yeah. hit you. Here he's fine then. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to steal some like prisoners from them. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention as well, sorry. Uh, time to quick intervention. Uh, Sora, as, as you were uh, sort of absent last session, uh, whilst you were um, investigating the forest, you did actually make a few uh, notable discoveries whilst taking yes. samples. Um, I don't know if you, do you want to go through them yourself? And because we, we sort of discussed this ahead of time, do you want to do you want to tell the group what it is you discovered? Well, so the the main thing that Sora discovers is that uh, all the, the plants in the whole forest are all connected and they're all actually the same organism, like not just the same type, but the actual same plant. Oh, okay. uh, all, yeah, the I mean, same as the, the tree. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> which is why the whole thing is spiritually connected, because it's all the same organism. Oh, it was a spiritual thing. Uh, <laughs> I just spoke to some random plants, didn't I? Yeah, you <laughs> talk to the flowers, don't you? Does the Technically, job. it was the same plant. Oh. Uh. That's a good shout. But the uh, this this both the spirit and the forest itself were at odds because it was it had basically been split apart. But now it has sort of come back together since the uh, their spirit returned to the tree. So essentially, uh, the forest is as it should be. But yes, in Peace doing has been so, restored. Yes, um, in doing so, uh, sorry, you've actually gained quite a few. Um, you've, you've, you've got physical samples which actually evidence that it is all the same organism um, and obviously uh, lots of references now that you can use to write a thesis on this if needed <laughs> so that's like yes. nerd shit you I'll, do, yeah, I'll so. be writing a thesis, I'll take all these samples back to the university and uh, and just display all my evidence uh, of this uh, and along with other uh, samples that I found um, some elbow leeches and stuff uh, and yeah. Beautiful. Hey, Hao Sheng. Quick question. How about instead yeah, yeah. of murdering your dad, we, we beat him up and exile him from the village? Would that be a compromise we can, like, maybe meet at? I just want to make sure he can't hurt anyone ever again. I mean, we can exile him into the desert. There's no one else there. Drop off his arms. He's an earthbender. He thrives in the desert. We can exile him out to sea. <laughs> Why don't we hand him over to the pirates? I think, regardless of what you decide to do, my father would not simply give up without a fight. He is oh, a powerful. I'm more than happy defender. to beat him up. I mean, we, I'm pretty sure we all would be pretty okay with that. Do we all agree to beat up his dad? I mean, this given. isn't always the answer, Tucker. <laughs> but we can't kill him. What's the difference? 
I mean, one is kind of morally bad. Yeah. Same, same thing. I believe the difference is that if he's dead, then he's gone, and if if you beat him up, then he's still alive. That's he can't generally. learn to be better if he's dead. Can he learn to be better? It's been a while. He did kill his wife and tried to kill his son. I mean, if we send him out to sea without anything, like he'll either learn something, I guess, or die Would out there instead. Survival skills, <laughs> but that's still <laughs> killing him. You're sending oh, him just to imprison him. Sentence. Yeah. Imprison him for, for the wrong like Why would we want a deserted island where he has food and stuff, but literally no one else there? But he's an earthbender. He could just make well, an earthquake. Well, he can't get off the island if he's surrounded by water on all sides. You could drown him at sea. <laughs> yeah, see? That works. Yeah, now we're back on murder again. Let's maybe not do that yet. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I mean, Taka, Taka threw that one in the hat. That, that wasn't me this time. Okay. <laughs> this time <laughs> i mean there is also the option that um we could take him to the earth king in Barsing, say because killing his own wife is kind of against you know the law and the earth king probably won't be happy about that i mean the earth king was pretty happy with genocide at the minute so <laughs> you know maybe whoever's currently the earth king would be a slightly better than the last one was no, Maybe. politicians are all corrupt, aren't they? <laughs> well, they're not politicians if they're royalty. That's kind of... Yeah, it's more like a monarchy sort of thing. Yeah, they're oh, even right. worse. <laughs> How shaggy would know? I'm talking shit, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he would, because obviously if, if his dad is the chief in the village, he would obviously be paying... Oh, yeah, yeah, to yeah. he's practically royalty, isn't he? He right. Yeah. <laughs> he's technically a vassal then, isn't he, of um, the Earth King? Well, they're, they're only, it's only a small, like, dog shit village in the. <laughs> no, but they're, they're still the being taxed somewhere. by the Earth King. They would be, yeah, you're right. They would be. Quite heavily. Yeah. I don't think you'd be happy if the guy he's taxing is, uh, you know, money laundering or murdering or whatever. Alright, let's settle this this way. How Sheng, would you be willing to go back to the village and hear out what your father has to say? Um, when you say hear out um, let's start a conversation you can talk to him we'll see what he has to say you can have your say we'll protect you don't you worry and then from there we'll decide what to do my, and we kill him my, my worry is that if I see him then I might end up going back how I was Okay, how about that... we leave him outside the village with the barrack, and then we go and confront his dad? If well, it comes to it, I... If I do go out of control again, and I try and do something bad... I'm sure Kova will bring you back to your senses like before. If you can't, then... If you can't, then I'll kill you if you want. <laughs> Listen, Haosheng, you're stronger than that, and you of all people should know this. You have abilities that you know you have and a strength inside you that you can use to the best of your ability I but mean, in reality to I don't the entire forest was pretty wanna... damn cool. yeah but in reality i don't think you want to make any rash decision decisions you seem very reasonable and you seem that you've had a lot to deal with in the past and a lot of demons and i think let's start some form of dialect but i think you're stronger than you give yourself credit for and you have an ability to not lose control well that's right and we'll be right behind you every step of the way we can help you make sure that you don't lose your cool and and we'll protect you thank you be fair if you did go out of control we've got sheila she she'd be able to do something right sheila <laughs> She was not there. She's in the tree. The <laughs> she's, she's in the tree. Oh, I thought we were with them at the tree. Oh, no, they're hanging no, out no, no, no. The oh, no, 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 no. Other... You're not looking at the map. <laughs> I mean, I can't remember where we were or where everyone else was. Oh, I thought I thought I brought everyone. I thought. I oh, they are thing. they are still on the map. It's fine. I just didn't scroll down. Did the thing. There it is. Look. Right, cool. So so we'll go confront the dad. We'll see if we can bully the money off him instead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll just take that by force. What you want? I now? mean, essentially, we are no, now sorry, taking yeah, this kid hostage in a sense, from his point of view. We found the kid, and now we're demanding the ransom. 
We kept up. He doesn't talk. know that we know. So no. he should just quite happily give over the ransom as we brought the kid back. No, I think we're all going to go in gun blazing and tell him, tell him he's a dick. I think that's the one thing we definitely all want to do. Hey. Well, you didn't want to do this before when I called him a dick. I mean, I, I just don't want it to go to the point where he becomes murder. Can we all agree now that this... murder is not on the cards? Yeah, maybe murder maybe go seriously injuring. Okay, as long as we are all in agreement, murder's not happening. Okay. Oh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I will literally leave you here where... <laughs> uh, you'll have Nigel to help me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right, we're, gonna do best to, we're gonna go back to the village with the kid and we're gonna do our best to not do murder. We're doing our best with not murdering. <laughs> and that's coming from me. <laughs> cool, okay. Alright, we're gonna head back to uh yep, the barracks make... badger mold and ride back to town. So yeah, if you make your way back down through to the forest, you uh uh, are greeted at the. I'll move you all over. Give me a sec. Let's just fucking yeet you all over. Down here somewhere. There we go. That's You've got to remove that little rectangle of of bit that's still hidden. Where the trees? Have I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is it because it is it irritating you? Yes. Well, I'll leave it there then. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's the only bit on like the whole map. Oh, we haven't That's uncovered it. yet. That, that is such a shame. Well, I guess you're going to have to deal with it. I genuinely okay. don't know why anyway. you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, it's you're like back here. to the left of me and... Oh, and yeah, I see it, yeah. Explorer. No, that's staying. That looks great. <laughs> it's art. That's my emotional support pixels. What are you on about? <laughs> hey, Varric, we're back. What? We're all back and alive. <laughs> all of you. That's well. That's very impressive. We got plus one. Oh, is it the 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 child? Yeah, he's alive too. Oh, that's that's even better news. Excellent. I know which shit we got a plus two. Can I have a bought friend? Yeah, his name's oh. Zhao. Oh, Admiral okay. Zhao. Where Don't did you think find this him? One talk, so. Oh, um, we found him by a tree. The big fucking tree. You weren't there, you wouldn't know. It was a big tree, and Al came down, and it started making noises, and lo and behold, they are now friends. Oh, so it's not a, not another person, then? No. Oh, okay, like, okay, okay. Wait, okay, wait, wait is Malcolm a person? Oh, yeah, you leave him alone. You mind your fucking mouth. Fucking run in his mouth and fucking shut it myself in a minute. His fucking lips closed. Well, if you're uh, if you're all done, then I don't see any reason why we need to be up here. Sheila, you can come on down. Do the thing. And Sheila uh, grabs both uh, both Varric and Nigel, uh, and with a bend of the knees, leaps down <laughs> with a thud onto the ground and the, oh, well, you uh, the might ground need to the... be up the chieftain, <laughs> by the way, Varric. Sorry, what? Apparently, the dad was kind of abusive and murdered his wife. So he oh. doesn't really want to go back to him, so we're going to try and have words with him. Might end up with fisticuffs. Hmm. Little bit of violence. I mean, maybe. we'll still get paid one way or another. So, no murder. So is he not going to part with his money unless you uh, violently assault him? I mean, he probably would part with the money if he give the kid back, but we kind of don't want to give the kid back to an abuser, if that makes sense. Oh, Didn't like he say just to find him? Therefore, we have kept up our side of the bargain. Yeah. That does sound like a technicality, or I do love technicalities, yes. Oh, but no, no contract was signed. You didn't get a signed- What? What are you doing? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, you're still new to this. You get half up front, and you get a signed contract in future, okay? Yeah, we, uh, we've learned that now. What do you get? What do you get? Half up front, and then a contract of employment. Good lad, good lad. Right, it's not about the money anyway. It's this all about the pride. money, Sarah. <laughs> it is all about the money. Money is literally what keeps this world turning. Well, maybe not literally, but, you know, financially speaking, it is very important. Oh, yeah, the economy. Yes. I learned that word from Ivan. 
Without the economy, we'd all be, I don't know, eating out of ditches in the ground, and all your teeth would fall out, and everyone would look hideous. Anyway. Shall we head back? <laughs> uh, Nigel sort of uh, walks over to Hui Ye, and uh, he's sort of got his head bowed. I am, um, uh, I wanted to apologize to you. Um, had some time to reflect while I was up in the tree drinking tea with Varric, and it's... I understand why you want to do what you want to do. I do. And I don't feel like that should come between us. Now, I understand, obviously, you might have already moved on and gone on with your life, and I, I, I get that. But I just wanted to know if you maybe wanted to you know, give it another shot. I'm so glad that you uh, came up, came and spoke to me about this. But morally, I don't think I can make you go against your convicts. I know how much the pirate crew and everything mean to you. And I know going against that is probably going to break you in ways that I won't be able to fix. So for now, I'm quite happy for us to stay as we're going. But I will not force you into any of the... Uh, the acts that we're probably going to commit against your pirate friends. Appreciate that. And he sort of gives a sort of weak smile. Nods to you. Well, that was awkward for everyone else involved, right? I, I found that incredibly <laughs> awkward. Right, guys? That was... That yeah, was... Should, we, should we go be of the village chief now? Well, I don't was, need I... to... Uh... <laughs> Like, this 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 man's been quiet all day, and now he's just coming in and throwing emotional stuff around everywhere. And we don't, we really don't have time for that. We have money to collect. I mean, I didn't invite him along. Anyway, let's get moving. Let's get moving. Uh, Farrick, uh leads you all out of the forest. Um, let's bring us back to our world map for a second. You can see the track that you've left, and uh, the the village is uh, probably. It's probably still a few about 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 half a day's travel back. Uh, it is now sort of uh, late evening, um, so you've got a choice. You can either um, just try and get it and head for the head to the get to the village for night time, or you can stop off on the way. There is uh, and essentially, uh, yeah, um, just wait wait it out in the desert, or you can just you get it for it. It's up to you guys. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Personally, I vote that we stop off part way through for night time. Yeah, so well, I think we can deal with some rest and recover to... some fatigue, right? And we can chat with Donny around a campfire and feed him some s'mores and make him happy. Yeah. I mean, I'm at full fatigue, so I can deal with the rest. <laughs> you know what? Fuck that. That that makes sense. I believe. Too. I believe Kova is also very much the same because we were both buried alive for like a good amount yeah. of time. I think Kova is. Um, no. I'm fine. I I'll just go with the uh, go with the play. Hey Sora. Yes. Did you know apparently that Malcolm can talk? Oh fucking. Yes. <laughs> wait wait. You knew. How did you know? Because because Lauban told me apparently Barry can hear him as well. Can you actually hear him? No, I can't hear him. Okay, I can't hear him either. <laughs> I thought they were just messing with me. Well, apparently... Sora knew before it was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sora got through to Laoban on an emotional level. But, like, I thought maybe Laoban was just, like, hearing things from the thing, but apparently, no, Barry can hear him too, and he is actually saying stuff. Or they're both crazy. Oh, okay, that is also true. No, no, but La <laughs> like, Malcolm actually went ahead, saw stuff, and then came back and reported it back to Laoban. Well, I think it's kind of mean-spirited the way he relayed that information back to us. <laughs> If that were true, that would be very fascinating. We should uh, do some more study into it and try and figure out what's going on. I mean, you're the smart one. You should. Uh, have you ever heard of anything like this before? <laughs> it must be a spiritual thing, but there'll be some explanation. Okay. Still not on the last one that found out. The microphone. I'm going to roll for a comfort and support. See if I uh, get anything with that. With who? With everyone, you can deal with the whole group. What? 
Yeah. Oh shit. Once again, I, bang so I failed, so it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we don't need your conference to fight. <laughs> I hate this game. So, uh, <laughs> how's everyone doing? <laughs> Fuck off, Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's pretty accurate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. How's everyone doing? Suck your mum! <laughs> oh, I just realised Sheila and Barrett aren't there. Oh, there's Rao Sheng. Poor That's Donnie, true. we left him in the oh, fucking forest. They're probably all inside the tent while I we're outside. I hope he's not gone off on his own. <laughs> yeah, she walked off. Into the, into the into the desert, <laughs> never to be seen again. No, man's a fucking powerful airbender. He's made himself his own sandcastle for the night. Oh, that'd work. Or at least have... that's what my brain came out with. I mean, yeah, he can make his own tent out of the ground, can't he? Well, so I want you to know that for the, the last, like, 45 minutes... No, we've not been here for 45 minutes. For the last half hour, my brain like has wanted to call it... Every time that Sheila takes us somewhere, I'm like, ah ha ha, Miss Sheila Benz. <laughs> it's not even funny, but my brain keeps saying it and I can't stop laughing at it. Anyway, that Tramadol short, short <laughs> Tramadol thought was brought to you by me. <laughs> hey, are you doing okay there, Shannon? Doing Do you know great. what? No. Should we roll comfort and support for Shannon? Yeah. <laughs> just IRL. Are you doing Not even okay? Lamont, just Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and D&D into IRL. Just roll for just comfort. How did I roll two now at once? Hmm. Are you implying that you could comfort someone in real life? I, be I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no such thing. It's <laughs> completely impossible. Um, yeah, uh, how Sheng's actually sat next to the fire. All on his own. Sort of just staring blankly into it. It's kind of a therapeutic fire, though. Varric has uh, gone, has, has disappeared into the tent that Sheila has set up for him. <clears throat> now, this tent that you got, he set up a tent for you guys, and it's this like little like fabric thing, where his own tent is like this really extravagant, like large, um, like glamping tent. Yeah, yeah, it's got like it's got like a bed inside. It's a and it's fucking got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go disturb Varric in his tent for a second. I want to ask if he's got something <clears> for us. You hey, walk Varric. in, his Varric is coming out of his uh, steam room, and is. You got a lot of man. fancy, <laughs> crazy inventions, right? Nothing crazy about them. What are you talking about? Well, I was wondering if you would have anything that's crazy enough to maybe, I don't know, potentially stop an earthbender from being able to earthbend as well. An earthbender? Uh, yeah, that, that is stop him from very using risky. his hands and feet in some way that we can maybe... Well, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's this grand invention called rope. And if you were to bind someone's arms and feet, they would not be able to earthbend. And have you now. got a way we can easily do that to someone we're about to possibly upset? Um, uh, hmm, interesting. Maybe from a distance. Sheila! Sheila walks in. Sheila, do the thing, and she uh, holds out her wrist and fires like this rope that just wraps around your arms and legs, Tacker, and you're just like <laughs> dragged to the floor, hitting your this face first perfect. onto the floor. Maybe that was a little yeah. more aggressive than I had uh, intended, but yes, uh, I mean that that is that is Sheila's specific weapon. So uh, if you if you if you needed her assistance, but yeah, I can't have Sheila. It. I can't just loan Sheila out to you whenever you need her. She is my personal servant, okay? Well, then, do you so, want to come with us when we uh, throw down with this uh, wow. Earthbender Chieftain? You did mention money. We did now, mention money. He has a lot of it. How much money were we talking? An entire chest, I believe, full of jewels and uh, okay. various cards. I would like 25% of the contents of that chest. Oh, I'll have to speak with the others too about that, but I'd, I'd readily agree to that. But I need to uh, double check. I think uh, Hugh and Lavan might not be as willing as I am to hand over a quarter of our earnings. <laughs> Varric uh, uh, clicks his fingers at Sheila and she puts her desk down in front of him and he sits down and starts scribbling out a, uh, a contract. And he's, he, he looks, up, looks up at you occasionally and then back down at the paper. Scribble, 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 scribble. And then he <laughs> rips it off. And he's uh, put some uh, put some lead underneath it, wipes it down, signs it in triplicate, 
Okay, the contract is formed. So you will provide 25%. Uh, I won't ask you for half, and I know that is one of my policies, but I know that you probably don't have any money. But I expect you to honor our agreement and make sure that money goes straight to me, okay? I'll speak with the other about that, and if we can get them to sign out, I'll bring it back to you. If not, then uh, we'll somehow manage to do it without Sheila. Uh, bring it back to me. You have exactly... And he looks at a little timepiece on his arm. Uh, 20 minutes. Cool. Can you unbind me? Oh, yes. Sheila, do the, the thing. Completely bound. Sheila walks over, and a hidden blade comes out from her other arm, and she just shing, slices up uh, your entire body. Uh, and it, and both, the, both the ropes on your arms and legs just come and done. All right, cool. I leave the tent. Have you go. You got 20 minutes. I'll be watching. All right, cool. Uh, right, I immediately just throw the contract into the plane and sit back down next to Sora. <laughs> okay. We'll be fine without it. <laughs> Not worth 25%, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even bother telling the others about this. <clears throat> cool. Does anyone else want to do anything? I'm going to go sit down next to Hao Sheng and give him a cup of tea and just stare into the fire with him. Because he's probably lonely. As you as you approach Hao Sheng, he's sort of staring blankly um, at the at the fire, uh, and as 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 you sort of sit down next to him, he sort of jumps for a moment, and then these sort of eyes sort of focus on you. And he, oh, sorry, sorry, oh yeah, I was just looking at the. It's, it's really it's really bright. Hey, it's okay. You don't have to explain. Have a cup of tea. Oh. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, sort of gives it a suspicious look. <laughs> um, where it's did calming jasmine tea. Wh where did the water come from? Uh, it's best not to ask questions. Uh, uh, okay. He takes a sip, grimaces slightly, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then just sort of stares at the at the flames. After a short moment, he sort of turns to you again. And he's like. I'm sorry for what I, what I did to you. I. No need to apologize. You would. You've been you through were, a lot. You were being really nice to me, and you were. And I can tell you were trying. And I just. I know just, you're a good person. Oh, you're just. You've just had a lot of things that you had to deal with. Uh, and I know that in your heart there is a lot of good, and you'll make the right decision when it comes to it. Thank you. Uh, roll their comfort and support for me with that. All right. Wish well, me luck. While they're having their conversation, um, I don't know if you've seen, but I sent you a message, James, on you... roll twenty. Oh, I tried to whisper 20. to you. Uh, I think I think I whispered. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So me and Cobra are having a conversation, basically about that. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Interesting. I'll put you two together there. Have I not put Nigel on the map? <laughs> oh, no, he's away from the camp, probably kid. really upset Nigel, about being dumped. Nigel is so forgettable. He's having a kip. He's he's probably sitting crying into a character. Yeah, he's probably crying in a tent somewhere, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Bless him. The tent's probably more comfortable than crying into a cactus. <laughs> he probably he's probably not in any of the tents. So I don't think there is a special tent just for him. He's probably sleeping outside on his own. He's a pirate. Of your own. He's just sat in that bush. <laughs> 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 doesn't want to share cool, a tent with his ex uh, so does anyone else want to uh, do anything in the meantime or are you all set oh, to I want to comfort Hao Sheng but I'm going to send Malcolm in first because Malcolm has the allure of being a very small adorable looking <laughs> turtle duck <laughs> send him in okay. yeah, what, are so you, I'm... what are you saying to Malcolm then alright Dude, this guy has had a tough life. Can you oh, yeah, just... yeah, little, he's a little duckling, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, so can I, you, I know, can you... I know. Yeah, right. You take him under your wing, fluff yourself up a little bit, make yourself look cute. You want me to do just... what? Oh, yeah. Right, I wouldn't ask you this unless I thought it was necessary, okay? Right, what yeah. you're going to do, fluff right. yourself up, look cute and uwu. Don't know where that word came from. Picked it out do the what? ether. What does that don't mean? even know. I don't know, mate. Something just came in my head, and that's the word uh, that came out. 
You know, he won't like, be able to hear. He can't hear me, though. So I yeah, don't know. I know. But that's the best part. You've just got to look adorable. Because people interact differently with animals than they do with people. Yeah, They say that. animals have a soothing effect. Do I? Right? Oh, okay. So you just got to sit with him by the fire. Just chill. Have a nice little, you know, just be a little supporting role. And then I'll come in afterwards. Right, so you want me to sort of wingman you on this then? Okay, I got you, got you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and, you know, Lisa, I don't trust some of the other Donnies. About, I think we need to get this kid to talk to his dad. I can though. see he's talking to that uh, Sora. Do you not trust her? No, we know Sora's a good egg though. It's the others I'm worried about. No, I got you, I got you. You know, I think Kova's on our side, but Taka and Huya are a little bit more violent tendencies with this. Seems that way, yeah, yeah. Which is and kind of ironic, considering you, you're usually the one smashing heads in. So listen, I'm all for smashing heads in. No, no, definitely. But yeah. if we can repair a family, we should do that first. If not, then we smash heads in. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, I'll, right. I'll do whatever you need me to do. All right, off you go, mate. Go on. All right, you can okay. do this. I'm only a little leg, so give me time. That's all right. Don't worry. Turtle duck sneaks around the bush. <laughs> Jumps onto Hao Sheng's shoulder, and Hao Sheng's like, ah, 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 "Oh, hello." It's a, it's okay, Hao Sheng. It's just Malcolm, the turtle duck. He's uh, friendly. I, I, I wasn't expecting. Um, what? Okay, let's. What, why is he on my shoulder? He's just very affectionate. He wanted to comfort you. Malcolm sort of like looks over at Lao Ban <laughs> over uh, over the like, <laughs> over all of your shoulders, and it's sort of like awaiting instructions <laughs> I'm gonna give him the thumbs up and slowly saunter over I think we'll just we'll just we'll take a slow turn Ma Malcolm tries to act cute and sort of like <laughs> fluffs his feathers up a bit like ruffles himself <laughs> but you've never like Sora you can see you've never seen a turtle duck scowl before but like this the face he's pulling as he's doing this, he just looks like he's he's really going through it at the moment. Oh, that's where you are, Malcolm. Oh, you guys are here too. Wow. Coincidence. Ah ha ha. Yeah, um, your, your pet came and sat on my shoulder. Oh, he must like you. He doesn't do that with many people. Oh, that's that's nice. I think. Yeah, well, I've got some bread in my teapot that you can give to him. He'll be over the moon with that. Wait, you've had bread all this time, and you've been holding out on me. I'm just gonna pull a face at Malcolm that just says, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, he no. knows that he knows the face, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hand Hal Shang some bread and accept the repercussions of yeah. Malcolm later. Yeah, he, uh, he sprinkles some bread sort of over his shoulder, and Malcolm like scowls at Loban and starts pecking at the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the bread. Oh yeah, he's, he's he does like that, doesn't he? I always thought you shouldn't really give turtle ducks bread because it's really bad for them, but he seems to like it. Yeah, this is favourite little thing. So a little bit as a treat's all right sometimes. Yeah, uh, he is sort of digging into my shoulder a little bit. Is it all right if I move him? Yeah, don't worry. Just he'll tuck up next to you or something. <laughs> Malcolm like pulls his like sharp talons out of the boy's shoulders. <laughs> 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 and uh, sort of nah, like uh, sits down sort of boy, uh, Hao Sheng sort of sat cross-legged so he sort of sits sort of nestled between his knees like uh, sort of the arch of his knee and sort of sits there I'm gonna try a comfort and support role on Hao Sheng oh go ahead oh Fuck. Never mind, we just ain't supporting Donnie. Between the both of us, we <laughs> have right. 13, so that counts, right? <laughs> right. I mean, Shane, like, given your, given, given that how the past day has been, like, you know, it's, there is some level of comfort there and he does feel, I think, I think he, he does, he's still not sure what to make of Malcolm. 
Um, Valid. No one really uh, is. <laughs> and he's sort of just, you know, he's got a lot on his mind, and you can tell there's a lot of pensive thoughts there. But he's just, he's trying his best to like carry out conversation, even though he's not. He's clearly not very good at it. Um, and you can tell that there's, he's he's genuinely sorry for what he is ended up doing. He's a J. So as I mean, the uh, as the night, I was going to say as the night goes on, um, uh, Varric's uh, loud snores can be heard from his uh, tent, uh, and Sheila walks out uh, of the tent uh, and st- goes and sits next to the fire. Now, would anyone like to do anything else before you retire to bed? No. I mean, I, I, I will acknowledge Sheila, but she's in <laughs> a silent time. <laughs> you can give her a cup of tea. Sheila, Sheila looks at the tea and uh, <laughs> looks to you, takes the tea very carefully, like brings it back to her, um, lifts it and pretends to take a sip. And then when your back is turned, she pours it onto the ground. <laughs> Rude. Convolute, she didn't want the non pasty Awesome. So if uh if that's if that's it, then the uh day comes to a close. Uh and you will retire to the stuffy tent. <laughs> um is anyone keeping watch? I'll keep watch. Nah. Nah, Taka's already in bed and snoring. <laughs> Excellent. Uh Huye's keeping watch, okay. Cool, cool, I need cool. a fucking nap after all my digging the day before. Yeah. Thank you, lady. Nigel can keep watch, he won't be sleeping anyway. <laughs> yeah, me and me and Nigel will have a nice night under the si- under the stars. I'll make it worse. Poor man's yeah, being yeah. eaten alive by rejection. <laughs> He's sitting in a bush by himself. He rejected me first, it's his fault. Nothing like, you know, sitting spending the night with your ex <laughs> under the stars. Wow, really? this is beautiful. We don't want to talk to each other because we loathe let's, each other. Let's let's sit I in. I was very civil about it. Yeah, yeah, you were. You were. He was the one who was a dick to me. <laughs> Listen, he's heartbroken. How dare you? He anyway. broke his own heart. <laughs> <laughs> I had no intention of breaking up with him, but now, now I've seen the... Uh, to be fair, he should have thought about all of this before he started dating someone he was trying to kidnap an hour before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not it's not the best start to a relationship, really, is it? It's a bit of a bit of a red flag, really. He's a pirate. Or, or he was I guess already it's... in a shit deal at the start. It's all right. Some stories are tragic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, as the night comes to a close, there's no. Uh, it's quite a peaceful night. Uh, being it's the desert, there's only a few uh, few little animals scurrying around. Um, some like scorpion vipers that you know keep out of the way, um, thanks to the fire and uh, Sheila's massive hammer that she uh, strikes them with when they came close. Oh. Um, so <laughs> as the as the day dawns, uh, you set back on your. So what are you guys doing? Okay, so um. I believe we're going to go straight to the village chief, but we need to decide how we're going to get there. <laughs> and um, if we're going to take the kid with us or um, have him hang back with Varric. <laughs> I mean, wh- wh- how are you all feeling as, about this? As Hao Sheng enters the village, a look of apprehension appears on his face. His pale skin goes whiter than it has ever been, and his hands begin to shake. Personally, I think maybe he should wait outside with Barrick until he's comfortable enough to come in. I don't want to be left with him. No offence, young boy, but I, I don't know how to deal with children. I mean, Especially we need not... him for the money, so as long as you're keeping... Imagine him as a big chest of money that you'll be getting. Ah, Haka, well, it's not about the money. I mean, also, we him. never we, you never signed my agreement, so oh, I get I no money out of this. I think the wind blew it away or something. Well, I, 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 I get no money out of this, so I don't see how I benefit. I thought we were going to split the chest between all of us. Yeah, I think Varric wants to cut now. 
Well, I wanted 25% for well, my I mean, assistant. He's but... the one who bought us here, and Sheila transported us everywhere. I thought it was only fair that they, they would get a cut. Thank you, Hie. You've made a very, very good point there. Everyone should listen to Hie. Oh, so Barry let's go can have my share because I'm not in this for the money. Okay, I was in okay, it for the research. Sorted. And now the kid. Thank you, Sora. Sora is also not in it for the money, so I'll have her share. Excellent. Okay, so you, you, it's, okay you'll get Sora's share of the uh, the, win, uh, the the bounty. Is that okay? Uh, 25%. That's so about not 25%. how math works. What's it would be 20% because there's five of us, right? Oh, yeah, I think Malcolm needs a share. Would what Malcolm am I going to do with money? Your share? Imagine oh, oh, bread, just, just bite me. Well, that's a lot of bread, actually. No, you're right. Yeah, I do want a share. I want it on 5%. I want it on 5%. Tell him I want 5%. Malcolm wants 5%. He is not having 5%. He is a turtle duck. Let him buy some fucking bread. You can buy bread anywhere. Any peasant can make bread. Yeah, but he can't. He's still got hands. Do the thing. <laughs> 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 Is he gonna make a machine for Malcolm to make his own bread? Sheila, Sheila, out of her, out of her jacket, pulls out a loaf of freshly baked bread. Sheila can make bread in seconds. I can love Sheila, man. That's great for Sheila, but what about poor Malcolm? He doesn't have fucking hands. Well, that's not my problem, is it? I've just made it your problem. Now fix it. I, I go up to Sheila and uh, take the bread and like, thanks, and then just throw it at Malcolm. <laughs> oh! That's a lot. That's, that's far too much bread. It's very crispy. I don't know. <clears throat> but at the same time, bread is bread. So, yeah, jumps on the bread and starts pecking at it. Oh, you fickle little bastard. Hey, look. Malcolm's my best mate. Don't know about that. <laughs> Alright, Varric, we'll give you 25%, but on the condition that you make a little contraption for Malcolm to make his own bread with. Uh, uh, As part of the condition. Hmm, interesting concept. 30%? And you got yourself a deal. No, so you have 20%, what? or you can have 25%, but you gotta give Malcolm a means to make his own bread. I mean, Malcolm wanted 5%, so if yeah, we can so get him a bread machine. Yeah. That can be as 5%. Yeah, that's what I'm considering. So if, if Barry can, you know, <laughs> rig up a uh, machine for Malcolm to make his own bread. Sheila, do the thing. And uh, Sheila uh, sits down on the floor and pulls out a load, a load of uh, <laughs> just various, like, mechanical contraptions and just starts drilling things together. All right, we'll leave you, <laughs> Sheila, and the kid here. To, uh, work she's got a blowtorch in her hand that she's... <laughs> melting bits together, get a soldering iron, and starts looping things around. Well, we can leave Sheila to that. Uh, yes, 25%, you've got yourself a deal. Alright, sure. Mark, is, is now about his back, I'm gonna be happy with that. Oh, he's gonna be absolutely fucking chuffed, mate. What, what's okay. going on? He's, Farrick, he's just confirm you're splitting that with Sheila. <laughs> She's uh, getting a shirt too. Sheila, Sheila has everything with me. We I share everything, yeah, don't we, we all, Sheila? I believe I he should be paying us a fair wage. She, Sheila, <laughs> Sheila blinks and continues building the contraption. <laughs> you know, I don't think he's actually paying Sheila anything. What are you implying? Fine, we'll, we'll, we'll no, sort Sheila out. Sleep over! <laughs> Sheila! Are we gonna go Sheila see this? If you are a slave, tell everyone right now that you are a slave. If you are... Sheila looks blankly ahead and continues working. You see? Are we going to go see this dad or, or yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go see yeah. the village uh, chief um, and have a few words with him. I think we should take Hao Sheng with us, but he doesn't have to go in straight yeah. away. He doesn't look like he's comfortable enough to uh, <laughs> see him just yet. Maybe <laughs> give him a minute to walking? adjust. Hao Sheng is like full on shaking now. Yeah, I think I'm he's gonna go to, like, um, one of them panicking. I'm going to go to Hao Sheng and just say, listen, it's going to be okay. We're with you. It's, it's It'll all be okay. I don't feel like... Hey, I feel sick. I feel sick. I don't, can't should be we, here. Should we? I can't be here. Let him chill out for a bit here. Oh, let's take him with us. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Sheng, uh, <laughs> How Sheng throws up on the floor. It's that's gross. Gross, dude. Valid. Right now, it's out your system. Come on, let's <clears throat> go see your dad. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay, How Sheng. We're here with you. Nothing's gonna happen. We'll be okay. 
Okay. okay I'm going to give you. Donnie a drink. I'm going to take his water. hand and just guide him gently along. So, uh, as you as you enter the building, uh, Jonah is uh, sat just at his desk, uh, just scribbling something down on some paper, uh, making notes, uh, looking looking somewhat stressed as he does so. Uh, he hears your footsteps as you approach, and uh, looks down the hallway at you. Did you uh, did you find my boy? We did, and we also found out that you killed your own wife, which is um, not very flamey, as we would say on Ember Island, where I'm from. Very subtle, Taka. Can, can I just say that I called it when I first saw you? Creep vibes. Excuse me, what are you implying? Oh, no, I'm not We're directly accusing. Yeah, that you're <laughs> a murderer and you tried to kill your son because you thought he was weak. If I, would, if I wanted to kill my son, why would I have sent people to find him? So you could get the satisfaction of doing it yourself, rather than letting him die in the wilderness. I have no intention of killing my one I egg. Mean, I mean, we know imbecile. you caused the avalanche that kills your wife. Yeah. Taka, uh, Taka found uh, out about this weird thing through the plants. I don't know, apparently that was your kid's thoughts. So he took over a whole forest. That was shit going on. Yeah, he can open an entire now. forest. He's actually quite strong. Jonah's expression goes from sort of frustration to confusion and he eyes all of you i'm assuming at this point um how sheng is is like hiding behind a pillar like shaking my son is a very disturbed young man now i don't know what he has told you he didn't need he to i called why it do you, like why, why do you tell us you. tell us your side of the story tell us why you did what you did why i did what well, you killed wife. your wife. Why do you... Why would you think I would kill my own wife? Well, so you're meant to be this stupidly strong... We had strong... voices and visions about you doing exactly sort of that thing. I yeah, but even before the whole forest thing, logically, you're a very strong earthbender, yes? That is true, he is. You've said this yourself, you are the, the strongest in this village. How could a super only... strong earthbender not stop a measly avalanche when you live in avalanche territory? Which you would be used to dealing with things like that, especially as I mean, yeah, you protect the whole village from that sort of thing. Why can't you protect one person? Yeah, seems a bit sus. I could not protect my wife, and it's something that I live with every day. Why? But well, why? Why couldn't you protect her? Because every you tried to force your son to do it, and he was not ready. I think you are building your own fairy tale here. I would never yeah. do anything to harm my wife, and I certainly would not want to harm my son. Well, so what you're saying, <laughs> what you're saying is you didn't have any bad intentions. You didn't mean to kill your wife, uh, and you have you've never been out was... against your son. You've never done anything wrong or anything bad to harm him. Is that what you're saying? I would do nothing to harm my boy. He's well, would you then man. be willing to talk to him and uh, explain your side? And you can talk, you can uh, get him to tell you his side and why he, why he left. Jonah's expression hardens again. You brought my son to me then. Where is he? Where's the money? He... I do believe there was a fly in his He reaches to the chest and slides it over and lifts the lid. Where is my boy? Um, His how Shang, was coming. <laughs> I was going to say, how Shang is shaking behind the pillar now. And his eyes are wide. I just look over to him and be like, I can do it if you want. That's all I say. <laughs> not, not, no, no, Huey. Bad Huey. Down. Spray okay, well. Spray Listen, Jonah, we're not going to give you the kid and let you just hurt him again so either we can talk civilly or you know we'll we'll fight you if we have to but we're you're not giving you the kid if you're gonna hurt him you're wanting to fight me <laughs> you come into my village i give you transport i give you a place to stay hey hey we you found your you kid. want to fight me i mean that I mean, is we did what yeah. and i only need to talk to him bring him to me 
if you touch him, we will literally fight you. And you're not going to win against us, trust me. They say so, fight, I say murder. Yeah. We're not going to murder anyone. <laughs> we might but we will take you down. injure, but not murder. Boring. Like, I'm fine with snapping his spine or something. Can help. Sure. <laughs> I usually kill people, but that's sure. a bit extreme. But Carl, that kills I mean, people. that's. I think that's where I would draw the line, like permanently, like making him unable to walk. I guess. But even then, that's an extreme case. Little, it's rather extreme. Yeah. Quadriplegia. Um, yeah. Okay, what Tucker's saying is, don't test us. Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> Try know, a bit. We're here to have a civil conversation and uh, and talk things out like adults. Well then, bring him to me. If he is ready to speak to me, then I am ready to he speak to him. He can come if he wants to come. Hao Sheng is like still shaking, and he pulls his hand away from the pillar that he was leaning against, leaving the imprint of his own hand on there. His fist clenches, and the more observant of you see the dirt on the ground begin to shift takes a deep and steady breath and steps out from the pillar Jonah's face softens as his son approaches he leans back in his seat and arches his fingers so you've finally come home then want to, but it seems I didn't really have a choice in the matter. If I didn't come back with these people, then you would have just kept sending people, wouldn't you? Well, of course. You're my heir. You are my son. You are the most precious thing to me. You really think I'm precious? <laughs> you think that I am something precious to you? After what you did to me, you think I'm precious? Jonah furrows his brow and wipes his hand across the table. The chest full of gold smashes against the wall next to oh, him fuck. and he stands to his feet. You are my heir. You are the only hope for this village. You have to get ever issues you have out of your stupid bratty little head and you have to buck your ideas up son because you will be the only thing keeping this village alive and what if I don't want that what if I don't want to have anything to do with this village then I guess your mother died for nothing then I get a surprise round to attack him right now see he admits it uh, are you, are you? Some flame. I'm Down about to tape up this bitch. Alright, you going in for an attack? Yeah, I'm about to tape up bitch. I'm fucking done with this guy. Suck me through that chest, I was ready. The fact I that was... man's already resorted to violence while chatting <laughs> to his kid, absolutely not. Sora's just going to take a defensive and stance and just go and stand between him and uh, and Haosheng and just guard Haosheng a bit. I'm doing a straight up firebending. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna fucking. Okay. Cool. Uh, is kind of in the background getting ready to do what I said. Okay, interesting. I'll yeah, you can all mind. you can all go for the strikes if you want. I'd like you all to uh, like you to roll. That's a mixed success for my tape up. Okay. Well, let me try and go for a uh, advance and attack. Here we go. We're gonna go for a strike. Are you fire bending? Yes, I am. Interesting. Good. Nice, nice. Yes. Uh, shall I do like a block or what? Uh, so what if you're if you're you're defending, aren't you? Yeah. So it's only if it only comes into play if okay. he attacks. I'm assuming in that situation. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna use my guardian. So um, I choose to defend the kid. So I step in the way of any blows that may go towards him. So, both Loban and Taka are going in for an attack on this. Now, Taka, as you're doing firebending, your your hit would probably be 
first as it's the more immediate <laughs> uh, thing. Um, you strike the flame towards him and he his eyes narrow and in one moment he slams his hand on the desk and a pillar of rock crashes down as the building crumbles down on top of you all. The building crumbles around you as you manage to essentially run through the corridor as everything starts crushing around. Jonah walks slowly towards each of you, smashing the building around him as he goes. He, within a few moments, the entire building has come down. From the debris of the rubble around him, he raises his hands into the air and clenches them both into fists. The rock and earth begins to warp around him and out from the rubble appears two large humanoid looking figures which twist and bend from the very rock around them the creatures take a step forward, lumbering towards each of you. Right, what's everyone doing? Good question. What is everyone doing? Let's have a look. Uh, Hui, uh, yes. I would say uh, with what you've sent there, it isn't a full moon, it's daytime. Uh, well, I assume we're going to have to kill all the golems and stuff first anyway. Yeah, but yeah, still, um, still middle of the day. <laughs> he, he's dead, he'd uh, jump on if you need him to roll for seven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And if it fails, then I'll jump in and... <laughs> yeah, but at the minute I'm defending the little kid. I'm going to say that all the animals stayed out of the fight as well. <laughs> Malcolm's too busy eating bread. <laughs> yeah. Malcolm would absolutely twist some fucking kneecaps if he had a <laughs> Right, who's doing what? I'm going to go for a oh, seizure position and try and get in as close as I can. Like, I'm going to obviously get past the goal and get as close as I can to Jonah if I can with that. Excellent, okay. Make success, okay. And so you're trying to go in for an attack, basically, is that right? I'm trying to get in close to him, basically. Um so you do you do get in close. You're you're now basically in front of him. And you go in to. Uh, are you? What are you trying to do to him with this like advance? Because it says it's advance and attack. So what yeah. sort of attack are you trying to do? So the the thing I rolled was seize a position, which is advance to a new location, engage new foes, avoid obstacles or danger, or establish an advantageous position. I want to get in close enough to him that it's going to be difficult for him to use his earth bending or for the golem to get me, basically. Okay, so you're basically right up in his face. Yep. So I can obviously fire bend him more easily than he can earth bend me. And do you know, I'm going to go for, I'll, I'll go for a hit as well if I can, right up close. Do well, I'd say with can. that, I'd say with that, that's the, that was your eight, that would be what you rolled for. So yeah. you essentially went in to attempt to hit him. Yeah. And he leans out, he leans out of the way of your strike and he looks at you with utter disgust. I say sure you can while I do it. Cool. <laughs> it's an Ember Island thing. You guys wouldn't get it. Doesn't doesn't make it. Doesn't mean it hits. <laughs> okay. What next? Well, I was going to attack him, but now Talca's in the way, so don't know. I mean, you can do it without me, like. If, yeah, nice if you're, uh... <laughs> I imagine your aim would be good enough. Yeah, right. I'll go for it. I'm going to do like kind of a, a sandstorm type. Thing, just like airbending like the sand like t 
towards him and hopefully like in his eyes or something. Ah, uh, so he's blowing like dust in his eyes. Yeah. I'll rub some dirt in your eye. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. Um, are you are you doing that offensively? Like, what are you, what are you are you doing it to like hurt it's him, not, or are you doing it to like distract it's more him? Of like, yeah, like more of a um, to hinder him. Like, because if it goes in his eyes, he wouldn't be able to see as well, or like if it kind of yeah, no, that's reduces true. his visibility or something. <laughs> Okay, no, that's good. Um, in which case, yeah, if you'd like to, if you'd like to uh, roll for that, I think that'd be rely on your skills and is it training, something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you do manage to whip up uh, a big storm of dust that you throw in that direction. And it does, it hits Jonah in the eye, but you also hit Taka in the eye as well. Cool, I'm okay with that, I'll take that. <laughs> uh, so Taka, you are also, you also can't see anything at the moment. Oh, great. <laughs> you should, shouldn't have good and stood in front of him. Um, in reaction to that, Jonah raises his hand and swirling it, the sand is pulled from his eyes along with a big, <laughs> basically a big clump of dirt from the ground and it takes the shape of a fist which he strikes firmly into Taka's stomach um, yes. Taka you are blindsided by this uh, as, it, as it punches you firmly in the abdomen you're winded and you're knocked to the floor you're sort of sideways at the moment is that also pain to fatigue I'm taking? Uh, you take two fatigue for that. Oh, uh, that's an all caps oof then. Yeah, that was an all because that was a. This guy hits hard. He's a he's a okay. bad boy. <laughs> bad boy, bad boy. I'm gonna use one of my moves, which allows me to roll with passion instead of focus. Okay. To dangerously smash your way through walls or other obstacles. I am classing this man as an obstacle. Which man? Uh, Jonah. Okay. Um, so I'm like the fucking stone guys. I'm going straight. I was going to say they're sort of in the way, so you'd have to move, you'd have to go around, I guess. But there is there is room to go around. Um, you can sort of like work your way around. Nice. Let's go. Cool. So you're coming in to just full on smash him in the face. Take off. Obviously. What we'll do, we'll move you around, sort of maybe like either here or here, whichever you prefer. Mm -hmm. uh, whichever's closer to the dickhead. I mean, that's right <laughs> in on him. So Perfect. you, he's he's distracted because this is all sort of happening at the same time. He's just got the dust out of his eyes and he's just smacked this petulant child to the ground. And then from the side, out of nowhere, a teapot smacked into the side of his head. He lets out. <clears throat> And you can see dust fly off his head as you do that, uh, as you do that. And it looks like he's literally using sand and dirt to cushion the blow. And he turns to you and he smiles. Um, but yeah, that does some damage. He's... You're wearing him down. Nice. Anyone else? What are we going to be doing? Kova's just sitting back at the minute and uh, assessing this situation. Oh, we're not rolling for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm going to be talking to the kid, being like, "Look, dude, you need to, you need to help us out. We're not strong enough against an Earthbender." I'm, I'm going to inter in interrupt to you oh. and say, "Listen, there's no pressure to join in. This must be really hard for you." However, these rock guys are going to be really hard for us to take down without your help. Because none of us can earthbend. <laughs> but no pressure. Uh, just like, anyway, yeah, so we need your help, dude. Uh, again, uh, as I've said, I'm quite happy to to do get my hands sorry. dirty. But these rock golems, I, I can't stab them. They're just fucking sand. They don't so make the squishy squish. How right. Sheng looks really like horrified by everything that's happening. And he looks terrified at the power of his father before him. Um, and he has gone completely silent. He is staring blankly ahead. Um, now, if you're using your turn as a sort of comfort and support, you can do that. If you're trying to give him like a pep talk to get him to join in, I will need you to roll for it. I will have a look at what I can do. 
Hmm. Maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be comfort and support, but something that will convince him to yeah, join. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think. Please. I think POA is way past the comfort and support <laughs> thing. So I'm going to. Hmm. Oh, the intimidate doesn't even work. It doesn't give me decent, decent options. We can, you know. You know what? I'm gonna use push my luck. Okay. Yeah. Him. Okay. That works, yeah. Like he would with an animal, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, like he doesn't <laughs> like me anyway, so I'm just gonna mildly threaten him. Yeah, I mean, intimidation is a valid option. Yeah, intimidation is a thing, but um, from the answers it gives me, I'm, it's only really fair. Oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry oh, about okay. that. I mean, he is an uh, NPC, so you, and if yeah, you want but to like, him to fight. They either, yeah, but the options where they like run away and they don't do anything. And I'm oh, like, no, 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 no. I'll say if you want to intimidate him into fighting. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I want to I I try wanna, and do. I anyway. just want to hear what you say first to talk him into it. To talk just, him into it. Yeah, and then. So, uh, as I know, he's still quite off balance. I'm going to um, appeal to his darker side oh, okay. and be like, dude, look, your father's right there. We can end it all. All right now, I just need you to help me with these golems, and then I can just go stab him in the back for you, or in the front, wherever you want. I can just stab him. You can do the finishing blow. I don't have to fully kill him. Just chop off an arm, chop off a leg. You know, I seriously maim maim him. Everyone else doesn't want me to murder him, so just just need you, a little bit of your help. You're an cool. amazing nerf bender. So well, he around, he says, "I'm cool with you maiming him." <laughs> <laughs> roll for roll for uh, yeah intimidation then. Well, um, passion? Yeah, what's my passion thing? <laughs> do I have a bonus on passion? I do. Nice. Ah, I had all my good luck last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Haosheng, Haosheng looks at you and he looks horrified at what you're saying. And his hands begin shaking and he takes a step back away. And he's, he's, he's beginning to just back away from the fight. Hopefully that means I got through to him last night then. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, well, also, Hui rolled really badly. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think he's just a good guy. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm sure you all are, deep down. Um, so do we know what... So Kova is um, assessing the situation, you said. Which means it's the Earth Golem's turn. Um, so one of them uh, looks down at Loban oh, and raises its massive stony arm and smashes it down across your face. You take a point of fatigue, uh, oh, a, singular, a singular point of fatigue. Sora, uh, this one uh, looks over at you and it, it's going to attempt to grab you. It wraps its massive stone arms around you and has now pulled you into a crushing, like... A hug. Yeah, let's go with a hug. <laughs> <laughs> not the warmest of hugs. It's certainly not the nicest of hugs. If anything, it feels like you're being bar you're being crushed alive. But, um, yes, it, uh, from an outside observation, it would look like an embrace. Um, <laughs> but you are now grappled with it. You don't take a point of fatigue this turn, but you won't be able to, you, you won't be able to act next turn, except for attempting to remove yourself from the grapple. Can I call for help? Yeah, yeah. I'd say screaming for help is a free action. <laughs> How Sheng, help! They're gonna crush me. How You're Sheng. the only one that can stop them. Well, let's see. We'll see how How Sheng reacts on the next round. What's everyone doing? I'm gonna strike. I think I'm already up close. You, you hit me once. Okay, from the ground. Yeah. <laughs> like a viper. Yeah, more or less. Okay. Bite his ankles. Gonna do like a rising kick and shoot some flame in his face. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Roll yeah. for that, please. That's a recovery move, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Nice. So nice. you with an you do an arching kick, and Jonah is not expecting it. You are on the ground, and you smack him under the chin, and his head clicks back, and you do a flip and land on the ground doing the fucking Spider-Man pose as you land. Oh yeah. Um, and you're now back on your feet. Um, Jonah like wipes away another layer of dirt from his face, and like his eyes are now fixed on you. Um, he raises a hand into the air and he uh, a piece of stone from behind him swipes through and crashes into your chest knocking you back um, you also take a point of a singular point of fatigue gotcha. <laughs> um, who's up next I'll I don't take Pot and Jonah. Too much. Teapotting? Teapotting? Okay. Uh, roll tea for teapot. <laughs> I'm going to use the same moves that I did last time. Because that was good. It was with passion. Teapot! Nice. <laughs> the teapot smashes across his head again. And Jonah, like, turns to you, like... Seriously? Like, <laughs> as, as another another uh, layer of dust flies off his head, you can see there is actually a red mark where you hit him this time, and he's Good. breathing. He's like breathing heavily. Ugh, you bratty imbeciles! He raises a hand, and the golem next to you uh, smashes down again to you. Uh, this one uh, literally strikes you in the shoulder. Uh, and you feel like the muscle twinge as it does so. Uh, you take a point of fatigue. Um, Quie, uh, Dora, and Cover haven't gone yet, have they? So, what are you guys doing? Well, seeing so the the kid's being useless, I'm kind of like pissed off at him, just being like, "Why won't you? Why won't you help? Look, you you're capable enough to fucking do something." And as I'm saying this, I get my uh, slingshot half gun thing yep. and fire a, one of the mini cannonball bullet things at Jonah's face. Okay. Or at least try to. Um, I'm going to assume that's attack and strike. <clears throat> strike. Yep. Mix success. So the, uh, the strike goes... Uh, it sort of hits into the uh, sh- Jonah's shoulder um, and it just, a cloud of dust flies off him as it hits. Um, but it doesn't seem to register anything. He uh, just shakes off the uh, sort of sensation of it and uh, continues to look around at each of you. Anything else? I don't think there's much I can do if I'm being... Uh, so, you have a choice. You can guy. either try and uh, break free of the golem, or you can try and uh, call out to someone to to help you for assistance. I mean, I already um, did that in the last... So, one. so does if, that you count as do, a- if you were doing it as a plead role, as your action, essentially, trying to break through to Haosheng, essentially. Well, I don't want to get him involved if he doesn't want to get involved. Because uh, I can see this is traumatic for him, so I'll try and uh, break free. I'll kind of do like I'll take in like a really deep breath and like uh, uh, breathe out like airbending style and try and like kind of wiggle out of <laughs> like up out of his grasp. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Probably won't work. Probably please. Uh, Twenty-one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you try to squeeze against the uh, crushing rock around you and you manage to sort of uh, move away from it uh, and you manage to you manage to sort of wriggle partly away it's no longer like completely crest- pressing down but you are still sort of locked in place you won't take a point of fatigue this round though because you've managed to sort of push it back a little bit but you aren't free yet mm. um, do we have any idea what Cove is doing in this situation or should I puppet Cove myself um, I mean, I can ask him. <laughs> I guess you can. Or if you'd like to, I mean, you can make the decision for him if you like. 
I know you've sort of gone over a game plan already. You could water bending slice or something. Yeah. It's a valid option. I say, how dare he stream at the same time? Ah, <laughs> speak of the devil. We're currently fighting the dickhead dad, and he's made some golems. And um, so this this is us right now. Last round, you were kind of assessing the situation. What would you like to do? Please help. It, bearing in mind it's midday, so James says you're not at full powers and can't do what you planned just yet. <laughs> Unless you leave this fight going for like another 12 hours. <laughs> So he said it's going to be oh, about 12 hours until time. night time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sora will be crushed to death in that time. <laughs> oh yeah, Sora's currently being crushed by a golem as well. So. <laughs> or, I mean, we're kind of just aiming for the dickhead dad and kind of ignoring the golems. You so. can help me if you want. <laughs> If a, you want, no pressure, you don't have to. Helping, helping your friends is always an option. <laughs> Not mandatory yeah. though, you don't have to if you don't okay. want to. Okay. You're going to have to like come on and roll for that. <laughs> uh, no, so, uh, Co- 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 oh, okay, James is going to roll it. What's, Co- what's... Cova's plan is to use a little bit of his holy water okay. and like bend it into a needle formation and aim okay. for the dickhead dad's heart. For the heart? Okay. Yeah, straight for the heart. Well, With the I'd intent say... to kill. Yeah, obviously. Um, so that'd be sort of uh, relying on... But no one knows it's going for the heart, only Cobra and Kiwi, because we're in on the plan. D- discussed how they'd... Uh... <laughs> yeah, you two how... did discuss how you'd murder this guy, so that's cool. Yeah, um... we, we definitely discussed this. Right, let me get that opened up then. I've realised that I don't really, I've barely ever looked at these character sheets, so. Uh, let's go. Let's see if it'll let me roll it. And fo- so that rolls off focus, which is a two, I believe. There we go. Okay. Whoa. So it's very subtle as well because it's 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 like this thin layer of just water that using using sort of his um, sort of refined methods manages to even in this sweltering heat bring this water to a ice cold temperature to make it almost solid and with a it sli- smashes forward and strikes Jonah in the chest. He lurches forward with a. <laughs> <sighs> and he looks down. Um, it didn't. It didn't manage to pierce through his sternum, but there is blood at the front of his chest. Um, so he's taken some damage from that. He looks around, confused, as the uh, golems m- move back into motion. Um, and I believe is that everyone's round. So we're back to the next round. What about how Shang was? Are you gonna possibly do something? <laughs> is he gonna do no, anything? I don't think no, he's no, do he's anything. not doing anything until one of you breaks through to him. Oh. <laughs> he's got PTSD. In fact, uh, yeah. In fact, considering the last roll, how Shang takes another step away. Oh, <laughs> Thanks oh, for reminding shit. me. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> So you know what? You guys. I'm gonna do some defensive technique now that I've been pushed further back. I'm gonna go with the block. All right. So it says choose a technique. I'm gonna choose any. I'm gonna choose the strike technique. So anyone who tries to strike. Oh, fuck okay, it. Ignore what I just said. I failed. <laughs> <laughs> so you go. I mean, yeah. You. I don't think. I don't think you needed to, ro- you like need to roll it, right it until someone attacked you. I don't think. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, no, so the fine. way block works, if someone tries to use a technique that I picked out, like if I said smash or strike or whatever, yeah. uh, instead of them doing the technique, I take one fatigue and basically stop them. From, it's like counter spell, basically. Yeah, that's fine. Sense. Cool. Anyone else? I'm going to plead. <laughs> With who? <laughs> With Hao Cheng. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see no other way out of this. <laughs> give, me, give me your plead. <laughs> <laughs> 
How should I look? I can see you're scared, but we really need your help right now. You're the only one that can take these guys down. We're failing miserably. Please help us. It's the golem around you, like <laughs> crushing I mean, around. Speak you. for yourself. I got one good hit. Uh, roll a plead roll for me, please. Uh, harmony. I have a plus one. A mixed success. Okay. So Hao Sheng watches uh, and can see you being bound by this rock. The body of a young woman being crushed underneath rock. His eyes widen and his hands begin to shake. He takes a step forward. And he rubs his hands across his eyes, his hands shaking. And he looks to his father. He's still currently frozen with fear. But you may be breaking through. Uh, whilst that happens, the golem crushes around you and you feel the constraint as the wind is pushed from your chest. You take two points of fatigue. Two points? Yeah. Well, you're being two crushed. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Tack has taken like six already, I think. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah's just been pummeling him. <laughs> Speaking of which, Jonah's going to take a step forward and uh, raises his hand into the air and rock forms around his fist, which he smashes around the top of Taka's head. Taka, you take two points of fatigue. Ouch. As, and you're smashed into the ground and you're on the floor again. Well... <laughs> I love the way you have to lay him down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a conditioner. Which one do you want me to mark? Oh, oh, that's a good... I think you'd be scared by this point, oh, surely. I'm afraid it is. Afraid of this guy that's pummeling the shit out of you. <laughs> that's entirely fucking bad. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to plead to Hal Shane as well. Okay. Uh, what are you saying? Uh, fuck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Valid response. <laughs> if anyone can get through to him, it's Lalban and I, so we can do it. Yeah, 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 you can do this. Look, I know that a lot of this is obviously, I'm not going to be able to say this much shit on the battlefield, but we're going to, this is a game. Uh, so, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, we're going we're we gonna do, play we it. We do JoJo rules. Like, a, a speech is a free action. You can, you can soliloquize um, in six seconds. <laughs> shit. Put everything beside, 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 beside. <laughs> wow, I should not have taken tramadol before this. <laughs> Listen, I believe in you, dude. I know you're scared. I know that this is the worst thing for you, but you are one of the only people that can help us now in this situation. You're stronger than you think, and you do have control. I don't think you understand how strong you are, but we really need you right now. Uh, can you give me a plead roll, please? Should have started with a table. Doesn't he, he? Your words aren't really breaking through to him. There's a lot of noise from, like, obviously, the the earth bending and sort of the screaming coming from Sora as the <laughs> life is crushed from her body. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you you don't seem to be breaking through to him. I'm afraid. Fuck. Uh, Huye, what are you doing? So I'm still going to shout it. Continue to like spiel shit the kid be like come on like fucking snap out of it if you don't do something soon i'm gonna take the joy and kill the dad for you and with that i'm gonna get one of my many fancy switch blades that i got from sheila kind of go full rogue parkour over taka's body <laughs> and aim to stab jonah in the heart okay um i'm, I'm gonna assume rely on my skills maybe have you or been would it be push my luck you, i was gonna say have you been trained in the ability to stab a man in the chest i don't know i don't know the full extent of your backstory i don't know if um, i mean uh, i'm kind of, be your first rodeo i don't know but yeah i mean i'm a tech specialist but i've kind of gone as in if it was normal D D, i'd be slightly rogue yeah ish Hence why I'm so chaotic. But I was going to say, that doesn't show. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, up to you. Either rely on my skills, push my luck. 
I'd say push your luck, considering you're literally running up to the guy to stab him when he's literally blasting motherfuckers around him. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, passion. Is it passion? Yeah, I suppose so. Nothing more passionate oh. than stabbing a man. Oh, yes. So you, ru you jump <laughs> over Taka's body, stomping on him as you do so, and just... Sorry, Taka. <laughs> ...stab a, the blade into the man. You don't quite hit the heart as he moves just out of the way, but you manage to embed it in his shoulder. He lets out a gasp of pain as it is now, it's in there. Um, you try and pull it out, but it is very much in there now. The blade just Fine, sticking I've, out. I've of got it. more blades. <laughs> um, yeah, he takes some damage from that. And he's looking, he's, I mean, he's, he's looking a little rough from that, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, um, I just look back at the kid and be like, come on, you don't want another person <laughs> to die at your hands. No, you've got, you've got a choice. Would you like to keep standing on Taco, or would you like to move to the to the right of him? Or, or, or I'll, yeah, I'll kind of step off of him and be like, "Oh shit, sorry, didn't see you there." Yeah, uh, Taco, you take one point of fatigue from the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, am I walking out of condition for that? Or, uh... Why? Uh, uh, no, because it goes back, doesn't it? You don't just keep marking. Conditions. No, it keeps going. You yeah. keep marking conditions. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I've mis I've misjudged how these conditions work. <laughs> Give me one second. Let's have another. Let's have another look at what Polish conditions. Guilty or insecure have. left? I think insecure. You just got stomped on by Huya. Yeah, he's not really into that sort of thing. You know, it's not his thing. <laughs> well, you're emasculated now. Yeah. You're just talking okay. step though. Okay, Tak is super insecure now as well. Insecure yeah. and scared. Perfect. His very first experience with femdom, and you know what? It, it wasn't really you know hit in the right spots, I guess. Okay. I've tried anything once, but fuck me, this is awful. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, what's Kova doing, do we know? I think he... I don't know Strange. if he'd try again with the ice, because his holy water is very special to him. It is. So and probably it, wouldn't... I'd say killing people with, ho with like, this, you know, healing water is probably... Yeah. I think... Is there any like other well. water around? Yeah, there, well, I mean, there is uh, a cross over uh, here. There's what a, I think a large he would do. Of water. He'd have to move closer to it to uh, to bring it over. But if he were to go, say, like here, yeah, I think because he was golems with all that water. Because yeah, because he's um, bonded with Sora, he thinks that he can water bend to like basically dismantle the golems because they'll be too mushy to hold form. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Hmm. He's going to move closer to the water, okay, and sort of like with the intent here. of water bending to sabotage the golems. I'd say for him to get close enough, that would probably take his turn. Yeah, that's fair. So that, next so turn, sort of here, unless he was going to like run through the golem, which I don't think. He yeah, no. no. <laughs> bad, bad. Time. He's not that dumb. <laughs> um, this one has already had its turn. I think it crushed Sora. So this one over here. Uh, actually, did we already hit Loban? I don't remember. Not on being so. No, Loban, you take another strike. <laughs> you take one point. Of, you take one point of damage. They do one. They do one damage if they hit you, and then two damage if they grab you, and you can't and you don't break out. So you're alive. Um, on to the next turn. Can I ask a question? You may. Is Jonah like controlling these guys, or are they like mind of their own? Are you wanting to assess the situation? Yeah, sure, whatever. You <laughs> gotta roll for that. I hope you. I hope you roll a one as well, because like. Oh, I love the You're gonna get. You're gonna get an answer, but you get your sarcastic. You enjoy yeah. that, don't you? <laughs> I do. I very much enjoy it. What is it under a mixed success? I think you answer one question. Yeah, okay. So, your question is, is Jonah controlling them? Yeah, like, would they still be able to do stuff if he you wasn't? Can, you can tell, like, Jonah is the only earthbender outside of Hao Sheng in this village. There's no one else around here bending them. They are acting on, on his whim. So the thought is that if he goes down, these golems will also go down. Okay, cool. Literally an extension of him. I'm going to try pleading with Hao Sheng as well, because I've not done it yet. I thought, might as well. Oh, crawling over, covered yeah. in blood and dust. <laughs> Please! 
Oh, I'm gonna be like, hey, Hao Sheng, do you remember that thing you did to me and Kova? And I'm gonna point out his dad and say, do it to him. Alright, give me a plead roll. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that was a pretty shit plead, so. <laughs> so, fair enough. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, Sora, I'll say you can have that as that, that assessing the situation can be a free action. Really? Yeah, just oh. because just because you haven't really been able to do much in this fight so far. <laughs> so, um, if there's something else you want to do, I'll. Uh... Uh, I can't use arms or legs, so same again. Like super deep breath and just like airbender blast. Uh, jo towards Jonah and hopefully like smash him against the. Oh, because Chuck has a fade, I'm gonna crawl behind QA. <laughs> and hide. Valid, valid, yeah. Fa, fa. <laughs> a little crab walk away. <laughs> yeah, no, he's just like crawling on the ground, like really fucking like be up. <laughs> like very, you know, you know that scene in Metal Gear Solid Four when snakes going through the microwave tunnel. Oh Kinda god, like yeah. That. Um, cool. Uh, so oh, yeah, okay. um, yeah, uh, Sora, if you want to, uh, if you want to roll for your, your, your air bending. Again, you're being, you are being crushed by this golem and it's, it's real bad. Um, and it cre presses down and you, uh, you feel like your breath leaving and you're struggling to breathe now underneath it. You take another two points of fatigue. Are you onto a condition yet? Not yet, I don't know. Oh, like. That's a shame. We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got, oh wait, uh, yeah, I've got five, so I think oh, you guys... Oh, condition time! Yeah. I think, uh, let's have a look. What are the conditions again, Envy? Because I never know where to find There's them. Afraid, angry, foolish, guilty, or insecure. Uh, you feel, you're feeling guilty right now because you felt like you could get through to Hao Sheng. You thought that you could do it, and right now he's just there on his own, panicking, and you can't then? comfort him. Because I was foolish to have tried to... <laughs> <I'll> no. <laughs> you, feel, you feel guilty that you couldn't, you couldn't, like, get through to him. You feel like you've let him down, and you okay. feel, even, yeah, though, even though you're, even though you are suffering right now, part of you's feeling that maybe you deserve it. Oh, that's harsh. It is, it is. <laughs> it's not a rational thought, that's why. <laughs> well, I don't have it, like any air left in me, so uh, understandable. I'm probably like, <laughs> going to start hallucinating soon. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have some weird trippy visions. It's going to be great. Um, what's everyone else doing? You all can help um, me if you want. I'm going to push my lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to, rather than plead with Hao Sheng, basically turn around to him and say look you're either going to help us or you're not whatever's in the past is in the past but you either do something now or you watch the rest of us get obliterated nice nice okay roll for that please hey Ooh, you got three to him you, you've like locked eyes with him at this moment and he looks from you over to Sora and over to his father and his trembling hand clenches into a fist as he takes a step forward he holds a hand over to the rock golem and twists it as the golem lurches and uh, Sora you are dropped to the ground from its, from its grip <gasps> gasping for air he turns to his father and the golem turns on the spot as a big rocky fist smashes into the side of Jonah's face. He now has control of this this golem here. Jonah lets out it <laughs> as the strike hits him and blood splatters from the side of his mouth. Phew. You bastard. Now Sheng splutters, stepping forward. You hurt my friends. You kill everyone I care about. 
You do not deserve to live. Um, what's everyone else doing? He called us friends. The I'm gonna try and calm him down because I think he's gonna regret <laughs> killing his dad. So as as Jonah's definitely distracted right now, I go in with another knife that I pull out of like my sleeve because you That's know. That's a very because he deserves off. to live a little Go. bit. She's got all that cutlery just up to the sleeve. Wow. Yes. <laughs> And I, I go in again for the same sort of move because he's distracted, so it's like a sneak attack. <laughs> um, sure, why not? <laughs> push my luck. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Pushing your luck with a DM a bit as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you on about? I, you, you sold me all those knives. I did. Right, that's my folly. There I also have, I also have the guilt at the moment. <laughs> I, I also hit. <laughs> you do strike him in the other shoulder this time. Got two <laughs> knives sticking out of him. He oh, he's like, got shoulders like Jesus. He's yeah. You've you're basically <laughs> you're crucifying him on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> he turns to you as you do this, and he smiles, and he claps two hands together, and from either side of your head, two rocks smash into your head, uh, yeah, like a that. big rocky sandwich. You take three points of fatigue. Well, that's fair. Um, this rock golem... Uh, oh no, that's already, it's already taken its turn because it attacked Jonah. This one over here is still being controlled, so it's going to attempt to grapple Loban. Oh, so it shit. reaches its arms around. And Loban, you're distracted because you were just like, you know, talking to uh, Hao Sheng, so you've now been it grabs you from behind and pulls you into its like firm embrace <laughs> let's, go, let's go a grapple it's not hugging you it's grappling you um and at this point kova would try his water bending yeah. on that golem perfect so kova is attempting to strike with a uh yeah with a uh, with a water bend from that side let me go to the character sheet and see if it'll let me roll it uh, I'd say that'd be that would definitely be uh, rely on skills of trade. Yeah. Trading with it, so. Do, 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 do. And that is a focus roll. What's this focus? Plus two. Nice. <laughs> the one time Cobra. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's when I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so, the only time ever rolled good for an attack. A jet of no, water <laughs> blasts over onto the golem and it smashes, it, it collides into the, the mud around there. Um, and it, it doesn't fall apart, but it seems to sort of weaken. Um, just take some damage as well. Um, but Loban, in that moment, you are actually able to wriggle free from it. God and bless. Get out of there. Um, yeah. Um, Sora, did you say you wanted to do something as well? Uh, yeah, I'll do something. Um, I'll do like a kind of like a tornado surrounding like Jonah and just like uh, you know bend it around him in like a circle almost to. Like disorientate him and hopefully knock him off balance, something like that. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, if you can roll for that for me, please. Okay, so you've just you've only just managed to get your breath back, and you're you're a little uh, you're a, you're a little conked out yourself at the moment. <laughs> um, feeling overwhelming guilt as you do so you'd sort of uh, try and bend the wind around you uh, but you manage to sort of like push yourself backwards in doing so in a sort of panic and it sort of pushed away from Jonah uh, with a sort of arch of wind in front of you um cool who's has anyone not gone yet I think it's on to the next round okay the on to the and next oh, no, round went first didn't he Mind. That first round, Hao Sheng reaches to the ground with one hand 
and pulls a large clump of dirt from the ground and smashes it forward towards his father's face and begins to press it against him, attempting to suffocate him. The dirt wraps around like a like a mask of stone and rock and just filth. And it crushes against Jonah's face. Jonah lets out a loud, raspy scream from behind this mask of clay and reaches his own hand out, swiping blindly. Uh, Quia, you're actually caught by this swipe, um, which catches you sort of in the shoulder, so you take a point of fatigue. Yep, looks fine. Um, but Jonah is currently suffocating. I'm going to plead with him to make him not do that, if I can. From the ground, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm still I'm still down there. Um, okay. <laughs> Just chill him. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to say, no, don't, don't actually kill him. Like, that's... You're better than that. Come on, dude. <laughs> I mean... He sort of looks at you. Break his legs, maybe, but not back, like actually looks kill Looks back at his father. He doesn't stop, but he doesn't press further. <laughs> cool. So uh, I'm going to like bend down to Taka and be like, can you move? Not well. <laughs> you, do you think you could go stop the kid? Uh, yeah, I probably can do that. Or at least that distract him? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get up and... Uh, See if I can uh, move over to him and uh, at least like get him to put his like hand down, and stop bending the earth to uh, maybe potentially kill a man. <laughs> As Taka's doing that, I grab some rope out of my uh, like Inspector Gadget arms and uh, go to strangle Jonah to death, so that I kill him and not his son. Fucking okay. kill steal. <laughs> so... Yeah, I, I I come in for the kill steal. You go in sort of a right. You'd have to get behind him then, so you'd be like there. Um, cool, yeah, and you're going to, going in for a garrot. Um, I don't think garrotting is on the character sheet anywhere, so it might have to be a, a, a probably a push your luck in this situation. Yeah, I think I most of this is push your luck. I don't think it will be a rely on a skills and training. No, no. So yeah, go go attempt to strangle the man to death. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll so much for being family friendly. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I just love all the facts. If, I've said before, like specifically, unless you say otherwise, it's non-lethal. But if you're oh, telling no, me I'm... you're literally trying to kill someone, I'm like, okay, hands up, you can do it. All, all of these <laughs> things have been lethal for me. I thought this was obvious that I still wanted to kill the man. <laughs> every, all the way through, every attack you've done in I every mean, fight is really clear about wanting to kill him from the very you start. You pull back have... against him and his. I mean, he's a big guy, and you're quite a small little person in comparison. But you manage to. I feel like to... I'm just like koala, with, ko- koala. Yeah, your, your legs are off the ground. Yeah, <laughs> using the full weight of your body though, which is a, which is a lot. And it is. He is now choking, and he, he already can't breathe against the mask uh, that's around his face. Uh, and I shout really over to the weakening. kid, being like, "Don't do this. You you don't need his blood on your hands. If you really want him to die, I will do this for you." Some real um, mixed messages being sent here, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay it's for you kid. to kill. Leave it to me. <laughs> My hands are already covered in blood. His yeah. isn't. He's an innocent okay. child. Okay. Um, cool. What's everyone else doing in this at this point? Do we still have rope? <laughs> can, we, can we try and? You might have some rope, yeah. Right. Loudbound. Well, yeah. he always got this guy, like gone at the moment. Shall we try and tie him up together? Fuck it, why not? Please. Cool. Please. I'll take his one arm, you take the other, and I mean, let's tie I'm, him up. I'm helping, I'm tying him up. You fucking yeah, I mean, in the Does that not count? Don't kill him. <laughs> this kid's had enough trauma already as it is. I mean, I think it'd be better off with a dead dad than an abusive dad. Let's just make him an orphan. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I tried not to take that. I said that was awesome. starts. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's try not to kill. That. I'm down with Sora. Let's try and fucking. Which Who's that? I did give the guy a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking. 
What are we rolling to try what and... What are we rolling? <laughs> I Is have that a push no your luck? idea. P I'm going to say push, yeah, push your luck. Your luck. Yeah. Push your luck. <laughs> I think they'd get an advantage, though, because you can't really fight that uh, right now. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I give yourself a... Give you a yeah, wow. Well, you do yeah, he's tied up. Dude's tied up. Um, and because of that, the golem on this side goes limp and just <laughs> crumbles down into dust. The other golem here is still up, though, because it's being controlled by Hao Sheng. Hao Sheng still has this mask around the face as well that he's slowly suffocating his dad with. So at the moment, anyone that doesn't want him to kill him is basically now in combat with Hao Sheng, I guess. In a sense, yeah. Uh, or, anyone, or anyone that isn't wanting Hao Sheng to kill his dad is in combat with him. Kova is also on my side on this. Yeah. Like, we awesome. we want this guy dead. Okay, so, so what's Kova doing? Um, I'm not sure. If he's just seen the golem go down, then he's probably going to turn his attention yeah. to uh, Jonah. I don't know what he'd do. He's near, near the thingy of water, so I'll let, let you go for... You can decide. You can be Kova. <laughs> So Kova's determined to kill this man. Yeah. Oh well, Kova's going to go for a strike then with uh, with that water needle from before. Going to use the uh, sort of water from around here and uh, starts bending it uh, into a sharpened spike. Um. No one no no one else knows that Kova's intent on killing this guy because they all assume. think of Kova as the nice guy. <laughs> Ooh, mixed success. Okay. Ooh. So it strikes through, and it hits the man. It hits him in like the back, at the side of the neck, and a, a, a large cut appears at the side of his neck, and his blood begins to pour out from it, uh, from that open wound. Um, he's. I mean, I'd say he's still standing. He's he's not dead, but he is slowly suffocating. Um, again, under both the garroting and Hao Sheng taking him as well so we'll go around to the next round i, I want to plead with hao sheng to uh, try and stop him from killing his dad like like dude we've, we've got him restrained we we you don't have to kill him there are other ways to do it not, not an eye for an eye isn't really going to solve anything you know well, like if you kill if you kill him you're not any different from him killing your mom basically you don't want to be like him okay there's some trigger words in there <laughs> Hao Sheng, his eye, Hao Sheng's eyes move to you, and his hand begins to shake, but the mask maintains. Sora, help. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Uh, Hao Sheng, listen to me. Look at me. And I go and like kind of grab him by the shoulders. I'm like, you can't do this. Like, um, this is it's, it's not the answer to kill him. Um, if you just help us restrain him uh, and we can sort things out then, it's not going to do any good to, to harm him. Um, all we need to do is just is stop him. Okay. I want you to do a plead roll, but I want you to give yourself a plus two bonus to it as when you roll it. Sweet. Is that on top of the harmony bonus? Yeah. So three. Cool. You see tears begin to appear in the corner of his eyes as his hand shakes. The dirt from his father's face loosens and drops down and begins to basically um, cascade down onto the ground around him. Uh, let's turn this music down. Uh, do you know what? I had all of these songs prepared and I've not like, I I've completely forgotten what is what. <laughs> <laughs> That's too watery. <laughs> A moment of peace appears on his face. 
his hand drops to his side. He falls to his knees. What and looks to his father. The rope now still firmly tied around his neck. He takes a step towards him and looks him in the eye. Uh, well, yeah, you've pretty much now brought Jonah down to his knees, which means that Hao Sheng is now level with him. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. Just ignore me like koala and on his back. <laughs> yeah. You took everything from me. My childhood my future my my mother I have nothing now except for you and soon I won't have that and I am so happy so happy to watch you weak and defenseless in front of me. But I will not kill you. I am not you. I will never be you. I will never be the person you wanted me to be. I'm done with you. I'm done with this whole damn village. I don't care what happens to anyone here. I'm done with it all. He steps away from his father and begins walking away from the village. And just basically walks away. Into the into the desert. Yeah, go Hao Shang. Did the right thing. <laughs> um, what do we do with Jonah? He, Jonah is now basically at your mercy. You've got his arms and legs tied, and you've got him garroted. Also, the uh, rock golem is gone. So it's entirely up to you guys what you do with him. I mean, we can kill him now that the kid's gone. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'm still Cooper, not doing that. I'm not entirely sure. Cooper is dead stuck on killing him. Time but I was joking, justice. I don't think we should kill him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still not for killing him. I think he's. A I cunt. think we should just lock him up. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, him in a I'm sure these people will work. be happy to, to imprison Come. him. Or so, his yeah, Co Cooper's still dead stuck on killing him because of all the shit he went through in the forest. But because Cover people actually like Cova in the group, I'm just going to take one for the team and uh, make it look like I killed him, even though it's probably going to be Cova that finishes him off. Can no, we you can't finish him off. Can we no. hold a, a court? Yeah, well, I, <laughs> yeah. Want, I want to can see we hold like just... a, We're going to co co not commit his Let's crimes. Give can him we... a fair trial. Yeah. Yeah, I want the village to know of his crimes and then exactly. we let them decide oh, yeah. i'm pretty sure the village that. already know they should the village, just the villagers are watching from their windows like and that everyone is silent at this moment i point at him and say he killed his wife <laughs> it was him he did it and he tried to kill his kid yeah and that too <laughs> i'm just still hanging on there like strangling him being like D -d 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 what do you want me to do <laughs> I'm very he conflicted away. because he away, chill. Just let I him mean, go. Chill. We've got him restrained. He doesn't need to die. He okay, can just be exiled, he can be imprisoned. Oh. He can be punished in a whole bunch of ways. We'll say death is is too uh too lenient. We'll That's let too him permanent of a solution. Exactly. We'll let him suffer in prison and think about what he's done. Okay, can I at he least choke him out so he passes out? No. We're not. We're not doing that. Cause then I'm gonna. Be a I'm gonna choke him out. Fucking... But he's still uh, gonna be alive. Yeah, but then he'll be a safe, and then he can't see and the well, effect that he's had on the village. Also, then you'll be an outlaw for killing this chief guy. You don't want the. I'm the already rest an of the outlaw. That's still the chief. <laughs> All right, Huey. If you want to choke him out, you have to carry him, and he's a pretty big guy. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> 
Okay. Are we going to go into combat with you? <laughs> no, she, she's I mean, she's not literally, if you're trying to stop Pui, Pui A and Kova potentially okay. from oh, killing God. him, you don't know. You don't know that Kova is about to do that. I still vote we we allow the village to decide. Yeah, let him face trial, go yeah. to prison. Because we can't crimes. be judge, jury, and executioner. Uh, Fuye, what are you doing? I mean, you've got this man's life in your hands, literally, at this point. I I choke him until he's unconscious and then storm off in the strop. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes limp and down uh, next to you. Cool. I storm off. I go to talk to Sheila because I feel like she'll understand me. <laughs> Cool. She's good at listening, you know. <laughs> she is. She's a very good listener. That's for sure. <laughs> she is exactly. Um, as as he goes sort of limp in your arms and collapses, a man walks out from the uh, one of the doors, uh, and and it sort of looks over at their chief, uh, his chieftain, and then over at you. What, what have you done? We we kind of beat him up. Why? Because he, he killed his own wife and uh, tried to kill his own son as well. That man is the only thing that's... The only thing that's kept this village alive all this time. Venom, Without him, you... this, this village will fall hey, apart. We'll all die. Maybe you should imprison this guy and uh, go and find his son and talk his son into being the leader of this village. I mean, He's still way better than him. him. That not monster? A sociopath. He's a not monster. a monster. He's a he's a good person, and he, he would protect this village. He killed his own mother. No, he, he didn't. didn't. Jonah killed her. Whatever her name was. We don't know her name. Yeah, <laughs> a woman. What do you have us do with him? Make him face trial and go to prison, probably for yeah. his action. And then we'd be without an earthbender. Oh, Shen could protect yeah. you guys. You don't need an earthbender. You guys can defend yourselves. But, like, nothing is going to attack you in the middle of nowhere here in the desert. But if it does, I'm sure you've got your, you can protect each other. He protects us from the rock slides. Move somewhere else. <laughs> 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 I shot you the Hang on. I, I shot, why don't you use the badger molds to, uh, you know, do something about that? They can earthbend. Exactly. Badger molds are, are earthbenders. Just you train them. them. Like, they why, are? why have you never thought about using badger moles to protect you from avalanches? I... As I'm walking away, I'm still in earshot, and I just shout, "He's the one who was doing it, you idiots!" And then <laughs> go back. Go back. To yeah. If you, guys, if you guys haven't figured out, Jonah was literally causing the avalanches so that yeah. people thought that he was useful to the village. <laughs> like, yeah. That was his whole game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just having my yeah, little. Yeah, just told it to him straight. Okay. <laughs> Literally, that's literally how they kept control in this village, was like, keeping them under threat of avalanche. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I just got dive-bombed by a moth. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the guy sort of looks at Jonah, and then... So he was causing the avalanches all this time. Yeah. Yep. Pretty much. But my... My wife died in one of those avalanches. Well, you know he did it now. Yeah, I guess you could uh, send him to prison and stuff. Yeah, let him live out his days and think about if anything, what, he what should he's be, done. He, he should be tried for all of these murders that he were definitely his fault. Exactly, and probably yeah. damage to property and various other things. Yeah. Various villagers come out of their homes now. Some of them are armed with, like, farming oh, tools. <laughs> and they're staring down at Jonah. So that bastard was the one causing the avalanches all along. Yeah. Yep. Prison is too good for him. And they, uh... Can I just have a... In the background, like, Fucking told you so! <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, the two of them walk over and they grab Jonah's body. Hang on, can, uh, I, can, I, can I do figure. a quick uh, thingy, my cheeky? Can I do a yep. uh, call someone out? Because that's something no one's done yet. Okay. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so on a hit, they are called to act as you say. You must either do it or mo they must either do it or mark a condition. Uh, all right, let's try that one. Submit. I'm going to call him out and say, hey, if you, if you murder him, you're no better than he is. 
Right, fuck it, they've ignored me. <laughs> 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 yeah, on a 79, they get to a... Uh, okay, no, it's fine. They're, they're right, not you guys are no better, and they're just walking away. Like, <laughs> dragging like, yeah, Anyone nice. else want to try that? Or uh, are we just going to... Nope. I mean, they're we can't gone. protect this guy forever. Even if he goes to prison, they're probably going to yeah, kill him anyway. So. I mean... Our, our job's done. Our <laughs> job's done. Like like peace. Peace. Yeah, I was happy to keep everyone else's hands clean, but no. It's all right. He wanted his been... mob mentality. <laughs> Yeah, it's better. It's better to let the mob kill him. That's the that's the yeah. way to go in this situation. I feel I like whatever happens behind be the scenes, kill. But this was my idea to let them choose whatever the fuck they do with him. So I'm kind of a little bit out of control. <laughs> here. There's nothing I can do. Shit, that just very naive here. Okay, he thought he could do the right thing and nobody had to die. You fool! Just... <laughs> <laughs> they all have to die. Hey, he grew I up on a like fucking des res resort island. Yeah, I've seen the the dark sides of things, so I'm quite happy to be the uh, lesser of two evils. Sick. Okay. At this point, uh, Varric walks over with, <laughs> with Sheila in tow. Well, that was certainly uh, an interesting uh, experience. Uh, got a good view of it right up there, actually. Uh, turns out you didn't actually need my help. Now about oh, that we, we money. We might need your help now. The money's over here in that mm. rubble. <laughs> oh, and then, okay, well, if dig, do you, perhaps if you've got an earthbender on hand. Oh, no, he he <laughs> ran away into the desert. Yeah, he's a. Well, we should probably go get him. He's gonna well, find his own shit. Don't you have a shovel, Barrick? I mean, ah, Sheila, do the thing. Sheila <laughs> walks over to the rubble and uh, <laughs> begins just. Reaching into the rock and just sliding through it like a like a like a creature burrowing a hole and just starts throwing aside. She's a real real work of art. This one, no, yes, she, uh, yes. delves deeper in, um, and from within the like building, there's just a loud <laughs> as the rubble flies out around her uh, as she pulls a large um, chest out of the. Uh, oh, there it is. Um, out of the uh, the the rebel and uh, walk back. Sure, over. as agreed. Twenty five percent, as long as you give Malcolm a means to make his own bread. Of course, yes. If you'd like to take it off, Sheila. Oh shit! Hell yeah. <laughs> Sheila looks at you and closes the lid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can ask her. Certainly. I mean, as I said, she's not my slave. She does what she wants, don't you, Sheila? Sheila looks at you. Sheila, blink twice if you need help. <laughs> Sheila does not blink. You don't, you don't think you've seen Sheila blink? <laughs> I would she blink the hell if she just turned yeah, she and has. fucking ran. She just, she just, she's just holding the chest, and she walks over and just stands next to Barrack. I guess they're taking one hundred percent of the uh, the finders. Well, I'm very <laughs> sorry for Sheila's actions. Personally, I think for the really, I think you should share some of it, Sheila. At least fifty percent. Sheila looks at him, goes to open it, and then closes it again. Well, I don't make the rules. I just, you know, I do what Sheila says, and she's you know, a <laughs> persuasive person, so. <laughs> anyway, what are we all thinking of heading off to next? We need to go back to uh, the port town because uh, we left a tiger back there. Yes, let's get my tiger bat and go to Bossing Se and yeah, I have them all we, my research like... about the the Bunyan Grove tree. Oh, yeah, of where's course, where's Nigel? We need to take him back to the pirates. Oh, Nigel I'm is here me. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I've, not put, I've not put. I did. I forgot. I put to put him on the map. Sorry, <laughs> it's because he was on his own in the camp. <laughs> Nigel's in a bush. Poor <laughs> Nigel. Been, Nigel's been left at the campsite. Oh, we still need to deal with the actual pirates when we get back there because we're still technically their prisoners that they want us to, you know, meet there. Yeah, exactly. What did we come out here for? We we made a deal with the Sarah captain. Sarah wanted to do some research in exchange for something for Sarah. Oh, was it research? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Ah, good. Did you get your, did you get any research done? I got quite a lot of research done actually, uh, and I'm very excited now to head back to the Ba Sing Se and show everyone what I found. Oh, it's going to be difficult when pirates want to take us to their king. Do you, do you want to come back with us, Barak and Sheila? Well, I'll, I, I, as I said, I'll accompany Loban wherever she uh, decides to go. 
All right, let's go on the fucking boat then. I'd say we've all definitely benefited today. Uh, you know, Sora got all of that research, and I, I mean, Sheila got all of that money. So, you know, we've all done particularly well. I'm just glad that Hao Cheng has found some peace. I need medical yes, attention. Yes, the child disappeared <laughs> off into the desert. Very I need well a done lot for of him. medical attention here right now. <laughs> we'll be fine. You can sleep on. You can sleep on the coach. Uh, Sheila, do the thing. And Sheila pulls out <laughs> the large cart. Pop I, on, I everybody. Think... <laughs> okay. I, I'd like to have like some one-on-one -on -one time with Sheila when I can, because she seems to be very good at making things, and I feel like uh, that would be useful for my technology yeah. background. Yeah, seeing as I can't do anything else. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, Varric might know a thing or two as well, to be fair. And I th I don't think... Varric is very much himbo vibes right now. You've just got to pin him down, and I think that's half the fucking battle. <laughs> I mean, he, I think he, he's the Varric brains and Sheila's the one that wants. makes the stuff. I love he that does I, as he pleases. I love that Sheila takes the money and you guys are like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does anyone want to fight Sheila for the money? I don't think I can take her in my current state. I think we'll just let Sheila have the money. <laughs> Sheila's the final boss. Yeah, after seeing like you get bound with the, the Sheila rope gun, um, I'm good. <laughs> but I really do want my own rope gun. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> no one wants to fuck with Sheila. Yeah, valid. Very valid. Yeah, Sheila, we can Sheila's better as an ally than Chieftain, an enemy. We're not going to take on Sheila. I think Sheila's so, the avatar, guys. So if you get, <laughs> oh my God, could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys, as you guys get on the cart, Sheila begins scurrying away, and we'll take you guys back to the world map. You return to the village as uh, Sheila puts, uh, brings the cart to a halt, and you can hear the sounds of commotion in the distance. You can hear the sound of shouting and blades clashing against each other. Hello. Can we get some blade sound effects, James? And, uh... <laughs> 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 Thanks. That worked. That, that, worked, yeah. <laughs> that was good, yeah. <laughs> Over in the distance, the ship has been accosted by. I don't know if they're, oh, they're on the they're on the GM layer. We can see them. Oh, they're there. Good. Is it the daily? The so the so the uh, yeah the soldiers of the Earth Kingdom have approached. And are currently in a firefight with Scylla's ship. There is the sound of cannon fire. Oh. I think that will be a perfect time to say that we're not with them. <laughs> um, no, I just stay quiet. The, uh... <laughs> uh, one second. As they as they strike and fire, the. Uh, they, they produce a large layer of rock in front of them, which completely blocks the uh, the oncoming fire. From behind the Earth Kingdom soldiers, steps a rather large um, man, clearly clearly native to the Earth Nation, and he steps forward. Uh, that's if it will let me. Objects and tokens, there we go. Cowards of the Fifth Nation! You are not welcome in the Earth Kingdom's territory. The crime for st setting forth on our land is death or imprisonment. Surrender now or be crushed behind the might of the Earth Kingdom army. Um, one of the pirates you may recognize, Steve. Steve! Steve! Steps forward. <laughs> Fucking Steve. We're not afraid of Earth Kingdom soldiers. Fifth Nation fight for freedom of everyone. Damn it, Steve. Metal. Fire! There's another as cannons fire across as another wall 
of rock appears above them. Death it is, the man says, stepping towards them. He raises a hand into the air as a large layer of rock crashes down onto the ship. One smashes into the side of Steve's face <gasps> as Steve is knocked to the ground. No, not Steve. The pirates let out a shout as the man takes another step forward. The earth around him begins to move. I am Jin Shu, the grave digger, and I have buried many of oh. your kind. Sand and dust and dirt crashes against the ship and drags it onto the ground. The men lurch forward. Release all cargo you have. We may be we may give lenience if you surrender now. The pirates draw their weapons once again. One of them trains the gun on Jinzo. With a flick of his wrist, another rock collides with the man's arm, cracking it. And the man falls forward, sideways, onto the deck of the ship. From below deck, another figure steps out. If they fall at me, sorry. Scylla walks to the edge of the ship, looking down at his adversary. Jinshu oh, the Grave Digger. <laughs> I believe we've not had the pleasure. Jinshu narrows his eyes. I didn't think I'd find you here. He said. Takes another step forward. Uh, we are not acquainted, Scylla says, confidently stepping forward. We are not, Jinshu says, though I was well acquainted with your father. Takes another step towards him. And it is out of respect to him that I give you this mercy. He raises his hand into the air as the ship tips and Scylla is flung backwards. Scylla tries to bend the water underneath him to steady the ship, but the sheer body of rock and earth pushing against it it's far too powerful. I will officially exile you and take your men prisoners. You will not take any of my men. I am an honorable soldier of the, of the fifth nation. Do you guys want to do anything whilst this has happened? I'm content to watch. Yeah, I stopped Nigel from running into his death. Yeah, I mean, we fought a guy who's weaker than these two and almost got our asses handed to us there. Uh. We should tell them about the prisoners also and, and let them free them. I, I think that's what they're here to do. I mean, that would put our goal from the start, so I'm, I'm happy to let this yeah. guy and his army do it for us. Yeah. I mean, you could go... You could go talk to him. Like, you, if you think that it's safe, you can... You can tell him that you're cooperating if you safe. would like. <laughs> no, I'm no. going to stay back and hide Nigel. Uh, no, I still can't It's not safe. I don't think I want to fight an entire earthbending army. <laughs> Nigel, Nigel is watching in horror. I can't do nothing. I just whisper to him, it's, I'll protect you. I mean, can't. he's probably scared of me now after he's seen me just nearly kill a man, but... That's probably hot to him. He's a pirate. He's probably doing it himself. Wait. Nigel, Nigel looks to you. He nods. 
I'm sorry, he says. And he's gonna run. Oh, Nigel, no! <laughs> no, no. He runs in and he uh, pulls his pistol and fires it at the back of Jinshu's head. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Jinshu turns slowly. It appears we missed one. Restrain him! The Earth soldiers surround Nigel. One of them strikes him firmly in the stomach. He lets out a... <coughs> Another one sweeps his legs out from underneath him. And they press their knee into the back of his neck as they wrap... What are essentially stone restraints around his arms, binding him to the ground. At that moment, Scylla tries to raise the water again. A torrent of water strikes against Jinshu. Blindsided by this momentary distraction, he's thrown backwards. You underestimate the power of the Fifth Nation! He shouts. We will not go down easily! Jinshu turns to him again. I didn't... I did not expect you to. He pushes from the ground and jettisons himself with the power of the earth beneath him onto the ship. He towers over Scylla and wraps a hand around his neck, lifting him from the ground. As I said, out of respect to your father, you will have this mercy. Now you're a waterbender, so I trust you're also a strong swimmer. I suggest you go anywhere but the Earth Kingdom. Why not try the Fire Nation? I hear that's nice this time of year. He's not wrong, he, he is. lurches and throws Scylla off the side of the ship with a loud <laughs> Scylla disappears off the side. At that moment, uh, the remaining pirates look to one another and instantly raise their hands in the air. Get everyone off this ship! He shouts to his uh, to his assembled soldiers. We'll take them all back to Ba Sing Se. Make haste! And the Earth Kingdom soldiers. Oh no, I've fucked it up. <laughs> Jump on to the ship and begin escorting people off the ship. Um, are you guys yeah, just here to yeah. pick up a parked tiger bat, right? We don't know yeah. that, guys. So the tiger bat is on the ship. <laughs> yeah, so, well, we, we just parked it there, you know. I'm going to just r run up to this Jean I'm like, guys, Jean guys, Jean just guy. act like we're Christmas. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm going to run up to him and, and, and try and talk to him. I'm, okay. I'm kind of a bit distraught about... He's he's on the ship at the moment. <laughs> I'll shout to him from, from the shore. Okay. You can move your characters if you want to, like, just show me where you're going and, like, what you're doing. Oh, I'm gonna run past these guys and to the shore. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Nigel. Bye, Nigel. <laughs> Have fun, Nigel. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know, Nigel. You picked your battles, Nigel. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Sir. Um... I, I'm a researcher from Ba Sing Se. Um, can I have a moment of your time? <laughs> Jin Sho turns on the spot and looks down at you. Uh, so these guys took us prisoner uh, on their boat. Uh, they took a bunch of other prisoners too, so if you could free them, that would be great. Um, they still have my tiger bat, and I was wondering if I could have that back. Your tiger bat? Yes. Yeah, it's that one right there. I point to her. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's put her on the map. Kind of hard to miss. It's pretty huge. Friendly though. 
realised I hadn't actually got them on the map at this point. Let's uh, sort that out. <laughs> Tora! I've missed Tora. And how am I to trust that you are not members of the Fifth Nation yourselves? I can show you my uh, university papers uh, and my badge. Uh, I, I'm from Varsing Say University. You can you can uh, check my references if you need to. He uh, looks down to his soldiers and gestures for them to carry on as he steps down onto the shoreline. He walks over to you. Let's see these papers then. I'll show him my pass and, and everything. My. And how did you end up involved with the Fifth Nation? Uh, like I said, they took us prisoner. Um, and yet yeah, you were, we were walking freely house from the ship. Island that I worked at, and they uh, kind of kidnapped yeah. us. No. First we managed of all, to convince first them. First of all, stop speaking, both of you. You yes, were prisoners, sir. and yet you were walking free on this island. We managed to convince them to let us off. Uh, to out of the goodness uh, of their heart. Yeah. Prisoners do not walk free. That is not how the Fifth Nation operates. So we tried to free the other prisoners, uh, which we didn't succeed at. Um, and we managed to just get off the, the boat. And we've had a few adventures, but we're back now. Mostly just to pick up my tiger bat, uh, but also to free the prisoners if, if we could. But I see you've already got a handle on that, so. It's all right. Two Earth it's a Kingdom idea. soldiers uh, appear behind you. I think we'll need to take you for questioning. Sure. This creature of yours... Her name's Tora. This creature of yours will be brought onto our ship and will remain bound for the journey. She doesn't Understood? really like being bound. Could she be free? She'll always come back when I call her. I'm not... I'm not going to let a wild beast like that roam free. She, she's not a beast. She's very tame. You are currently under arrest. Oh, fuck. Until Why? we are able to further validate your claims. Is this is this all of us or is this just This is these two of... currently, because you guys are still over here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Varric cool. turns to the rest of you. Okay everybody, uh, now I uh I believe we should probably get out of here as quickly as we can. I'm with you, Varric. Um, mm, do you have means to get to Barsing Say? It's Nigel being cloned. <laughs> <No worries. laughs> to Barsing Say, we could possibly uh, work something out. Though, uh, if that man is going that way, I don't want to go anywhere near where he is going. Well, either you take us to Barsing Say, or I, uh, I shout a little bit and get their attention over here. Seems like you're hiding from them. I mean, they've literally just arrested your friends. Can you not see what they're doing right now over there? Yeah, but I'm I'm a citizen of the Earth Kingdom. I have all my paperwork. And they haven't seen that I'm part of the pirates. I could just be living here. Do you want to take that risk? I, uh... I, um... That is... Quite the query, yes. So you're suggesting that we go to Passing Say on our own and let your friends be taken prisoner, correct? Do you have any better ideas right now, other than we all get taken prisoner? I mean, <laughs> we're talking about Jinju, the, the, the grave digger. He is a, one of the most monstrously powerful people in this country, in in this entire world. I don't, want to, I don't want to deal He'll with him. He'll probably dig our graves, right? I, 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 well, he <laughs> shows very little mercy from what I understand. Um, now, the problem I have at the moment is that Kova, as a character, <laughs> knows who Jinshu is, but currently isn't here as a player. <laughs> kind of, uh, yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah. Doesn't matter. So Doesn't if matter. they did go off their own way, then they wouldn't necessarily see him, uh, and just Thank Tucker you. and I could be taken prisoner for our adventure. We haven't had an adventure together. Uh, and the other not have a therapy session with therapist Sora now. This could be it. 
I mean, we could just leave it there for this week and then get Kova's opinion next time. Okay. Regardless, you guys but are heading to Barsing, say one one way or another. Yeah. So let's leave it at a bit of a cliffhanger on this for now, um, and we and you got to give you guys some time to decide what you're going to do in this sort of tricky situation. Um, though before we end the session, I do have one last thing I want to go through, and this is something I'm going to start doing at the end of each session, Ooh. as just a little. It's just like a little light like, bonus bit at the end. Ooh. I'm gonna music off, as it's just gonna be me being really self-indulgent. A young boy walks the desert alone, the sand beneath his skin, guiding a path in a direction he's not certain of, but it feels it's leading him in the wrong, di the wrong direction with every step. There is still anguish in his conscience, regret, fear. He thinks of the friends he's left behind, the decisions he made, the family that he nearly eviscerated. With each step, the sand between his toes comes more coarse and rough. He looks out into the distance, with only the sound of the gentle wind and the hot, fiery sun beating down against his pale skin. He looks ahead as a figure stands firmly in front of him. A tall man, his hair black, his clothes black, his expression sullen. The two lock eyes as the man gestures for him to come over. You walk alone in a desert, filled with hatred, filled with malice, and a man you, you couldn't bring yourself to kill. How do you know, how, how do you, do you, I know much about you, Hao Sheng. I've been studying you for some time. You're a very talented young man, very gifted, very powerful. Hao Sheng's hands shake as the earth trembles beneath his feet. You should keep away from me. I am as powerful as you say. And if you even try... I'm not going to try anything, Hao Sheng. What you want right now is revenge, and you're never going to be able to get that. Your father is already dead. Your mother, she is long gone. You can't do anything to change that. But I think I can. You're just going to have to trust me. If you come with me, I can fix everything for you. Hao Sheng's hands tremble. Dirt moves beneath him as he launches a torrent of sand towards this stranger. The man simply waves a hand as the dust flies away. Please, Hao Sheng. You're going to need to trust me on this. The man takes a step forward, places a hand on Hao Sheng's shoulder. Feeling of comfort that comes from this. I'm only asking you to come with me. You can make the decision of what you do once we reach our destination. 
it seems a waste to let you simply walk this desert alone. How Sheng feels his hands drop to his side. Tears run down his face. He slowly nods, hangs his head, follows this stranger through the desert. And that's where we'll leave it.